Okay, ladies and gents, are we live? Um, y'all gonna have to give me a second because I just started everything. I'm getting used to now having two platforms to manage, so. Just letting my girl know that I'm working right now, you know, starting up everything. Okay, so I have maxed out certain settings on my stream and these are gonna be pretty awesome. I'm gonna tell you guys that straight up. Um, a lot of this is because I have just recently uh, attempted to create a kick streaming account and I actually learned about a lot of good settings there that I've tried to port over to my Diablo 4 side on YouTube so let me know if there are any stream problems today okay let's test out max stream settings all right so for the most part, I expect everything to go perfectly, but um, if it doesn't, you know, let me know. <coughs> you. Okay. Beautiful. <clears throat> hey, Callie, Boog, what's up? So, guys, let me know if there anything there is anything that is a problem at all. Okay, I'm just going to set up Diablo for now. Okay, you should be able to now see it in the back. There we are. Okay, so we have maxed out stream settings. Okay, no more, no more dark screen now. All right, we have maxed out stream settings. Don't forget to like and share the stream. If there are any stream problems, let me know. Set the stream to 1080p, 60 FPS, and then let me know if there are any issues because, yeah, I, I like I mentioned, have attempted to um, basically port over some of the settings that I'm using on Kick, which I think are pretty awesome, and I really just wanted to see uh, how they would perform, so that is what I'm doing right now. Let me just quickly fix that chat window because it is a bit off center. I don't know why. <clears throat> chat window testing. I just don't know why it is marginally off center. Yeah, it needs to go a bit higher. Sorry about that. Okay, great. Now it should be fine. <clears throat> For some god-awful reason, the chat window was in a really weird spot. So I just wanted to make sure that that's settled out. Hey, hey, Revarcher. Yep, um, the real test will begin, Tiago, once we, <coughs> excuse me, get into the <coughs> dungeon. <coughs> oh, Lord, the after-dinner cough is always annoying. <coughs> you know, I've been coughing so much less today, which I'm really happy about, but the after-dinner cough, because I just had sushi, is uh, pretty killer. Mom got me some sushi today. I'm pretty happy. <clears throat> and hey, River Archer, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Let's let's enjoy this uh, quality test, eh? I got sharp, blunt, sinister. <laughs> Hello, Stuffy Lock Miller. What is this sad AF? Why are you sad AF? In the kingdom of the robot, bro. There's no sad AF here. There is only death AF. Not kidding. All right, let's go. Let me test this out now. I'm excited in a twisted way. Uh, whole frost demise electric lance with armor breakers. No, thank you. That's not happening. I'll probably hit Mariner's refuge with death pulse. Rena will probably join me at some point. Hey, congratulations, Arazite. Very proud of you. Well done. Don't forget to share the build, yeah? And uh, if there are any stream problems today, let me know, guys. If my quality is different from the usual, make sure, of course, that you're watching at 1080p, 60fps. Well, I hope your girlfriend gets better, Stuffy. That does suck. Make sure you are by her side during her toughest times. Yes? <coughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, play whatever you feel, River Archer. It's all good. You know, nothing wrong with playing Bouncy Ball Flamer. To be fair, as long as you're not, like, trying to push the ultimate level, you don't have to go for the most efficient. I mean, I myself went with the most efficient, obviously, but that's what I do every season, you know? So far, game-wise, I'm still getting perfect FPS on my end, so... I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, let me know if there are any FPS issues, stream issues on you guys' end. Uh, I'm observing my own stream right now, but it doesn't seem to have any major problems or issues. Um, and in fact, everything is looking pretty smooth. Uh, yes and no. Okay, I'm gonna say that Chain Lightning slaps hard with a lot of restrictions. Just be aware of that. It doesn't. It still doesn't slap as hard as ice, and that's a fact. Um, but it does go pretty well, and you can, in fact, use it if you want to push. If you want to push up, it is very possible to do so. But I still like. If you were to go, if you were to weigh like max max efficiency, I would still 110% go with. Um, ice over over chain lightning however if you were if you were the type of person that was looking for something different and you're willing to suffer a little bit more especially in the mid stages uh in the journey to the world tier four stages you were willing to suffer a bit more there then i would say yeah um ice is fine uh sorry chain lightning is fine because it does get strong toward end game once you have everything perfect you know but there is a trade-up cost in that and you do kind of suffer for your sins early on, so you do have to just be aware of that. Um, sorry, dude, but that is not an appropriate message for a YouTube stream, and certainly, uh, I, I don't believe that for a second. So if you are going to troll, then I will have to remove you, okay? Please not behave in such a manner. That is very inappropriate. Hey, newbie. How's it going? Ah, oh, look at you, newbie. You distracted me. And I died. Where, where, where's the, where's the bodyguard roll? But how you doing, pal? The thing is, that is why, like, so for, like, a Chain Lightning Sorcerer to get the Vulnerable Element, they usually will take ranks in the Frozen Orb, um, as a side, as a side thing, which, uh, does help out <coughs> quite a bit as well, because most of the passives for Lightning are useless anyway, so they usually just take the best passives, and then they ditch, uh, that entirely. So that is a possibility, but Chain Lightning does have higher damage reduction because you can very easily reach the, uh, you restore, you'd have basically infinite mana. So you could reach the whole, um, mana shield cap very quickly by spamming Chain Lightning. And by doing so, uh, realistically speaking, it makes it so that, uh, you always have mana shield. So it can be more defensive as well than Ice Shards. But Ice Shards, of course, because of the ease of vulnerability, has the advantage of just, you know, decimating quickly. Like I said, it depends on your efficiency level and comfort level. My goal is to just be as efficient as possible and hit level 100. So I choose based on that, but there are actually more viable builds than that. And lightning is one of the elements that technically does work well. <laughs> Thank you, my chungus man. Welcome back from the Browns. Let's, uh, let's uh, see if it keeps up, you know. I'm really enjoying, I'm really enjoying the current quality, honestly. The stream today is looking beautiful. Um, on my end, at least, it's going very, very powerful. Yep. Um, I changed chat to be on the right-hand side, but I may alter that soon. Because, uh, what I'm not, and what I didn't realize is that it's meshing with this Echo of Hatred part, which I don't want it doing, so I might bring it back to the left-hand side. I was just testing which position might be ideal, you know? And that's what I basically wanted to see. You know, which one would be the most ideal position 
for me and my stream. I am going to shift the chat back to the left-hand side, though, because I think that that is a far superior um, thing. Like, it's a far superior position. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna shift that back uh, as soon as this <laughs> curse is done. <clears throat> but I'm actually, like, not paying attention to the screen as much as I should. I really shouldn't have picked Death Pulse for this, because I'm actually paying attention to my phone and observing in real time my positions, my um, everything, you know. And actually, uh, I would say that these settings are genuinely working out. So for those that don't know, I've started a small experiment on kick streaming. Uh, you are welcome to follow me on kick streaming as well if you want to catch my morning streams, because my morning streams are all shifting over to kick. I've got my own overlay for kick, everything all designed today. I spent a lot of time on it, making sure that uh, it all worked. And we got it done uh, really, really quickly and really well. So I did a test stream there. And to be fair, the test stream uh, showed the results that you're seeing now, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that's definitely the case, newbie. Also, by the way, you, you all have OG badges. Just keep that in mind because I saw all of you had followed me to kick. So the early birds all have their OG badges now, which will appear next to your name whenever you're in a kick stream. Yeah, I just wanted to, this is a little thank you for taking, for making the effort to follow my kick. Uh, morning streams will be there from now on, and we'll be doing a documentary series on it. <clears throat> which you can also find on my second partner YouTube channel, Today I Stayed Inside. It's gonna be, it's shaping up to be a very interesting documentary series. And, um, I think it'll be very cool for the streaming industry as a whole. Yeah. So, that's that. But one of the biggest takeaways, even today, from <clears throat> just setting up the stream was the detail settings that you're basically seeing right now. Uh, as you can see, the stream detailing is a bit higher. There is less latency overall in terms of what you're seeing and what I'm doing. And the best part is just um, the fact that it doesn't have any artifacting. So, it's looking, I would say, smoother. Also, fun fact, I've actually managed to reduce the bandwidth kick was probably a bit more clear did you set did you set the stream manually to 1080p um, just make sure you have because if you set it to auto it may not go quite as well because I'm seeing no quality dips on my own end Congrats on starting a barb yesterday. I'm looking forward to uh, playing the barb proper as well. <clears throat> but yeah, Kick is definitely like overall their stream quality is insane. Okay. That's all right. That is absolutely fine. Let me try one little thing that I'm going to do right now. Okay. Let me see if this resolves it. I'm, I'm doubtful it's personal connection. I'm just going to do a little minor change there, which should alter things. Okay. Because um, on my phone, the stream is crystal clear. I just want to make sure that the viewer experience is perfect as well. I've just slightly adjusted something on my end. Let me know if things improve over the next uh, few minutes for you. <clears throat> yeah, basically I'm trying to make stream quality as absolute best, as absolute beastly as possible. But I think Kick overall just has better quality than YouTube Live. Um, in comparison, in comparison to my usual live shows, uh, how's it looking, Chungus Man? Yeah, I know. The stream quality is so good, but following people and finding people you follow is damn near impossible. Basically, uh, when I post live in my Discord and on Twitter, y'all might have to like search me up manually on Kick in order to follow me there. Yeah, sorry, in order to actually view the stream, because I literally cannot go to my own stream via the mobile app. Unlike Twitch, which makes it easy, like I, I have to actually uh, search myself and then view my own channel, which is hilarious. But the plus side to that is that um, it does, like, the stream quality is much higher. But yeah, let me know today how my YouTube stream is looking in comparison to my normal YouTube streams. Let me know if there are any major issues, problems, uh, dips in quality, things like that. I've basically maxed out certain settings. 
uh, which, you know, because I want to keep it in line with the kick streams. So let me know if there anything, there's anything uh, overtly wrong with the stream. Like I said, I've just tweaked another little setting. So compared to the other shows, it's overall better. So that means compared to my own uh, YouTube shows, the current quality is better. Understood. Understood. That could also theoretically be because exposure right now is set to auto. I need to remove that. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Now it should be semi-okay. Oh, crap. Camera positioning. But yes, <clears throat> camera on kick is definitely clearer than on YouTube. That one is always a bit of a problem. Okay. I'm going to dip the output back down. Because I think this is stable enough. Could be, could be entirely but i also just fixed a lot of exposure settings so i've tuned the um i've tuned the settings back to when i first to where i'm at when i first started the stream uh, let me get rid of all this crud in my inventory also if anyone from the clan is joining me today or in world tier 4 you feel like uh joining me to blast things let me know yeah Cause I'll be blasting away. Sometimes the best defense is a stronger offense. Let's get you offensive. I still love her. I still love that blacksmith's line. Let's get you offensive. <clears throat> yeah, have a wee gamble. We'll have to test it once I'm in actual combat, but yeah. Um, it should be good to go now. Because I think the problem... If the problem was mostly the camera, then I understand why. It was because um, I have auto settings on my camera, which I've just taken off for full manual control. Which is fine. <laughs> it just means that it doesn't change with the lighting and whatever. But uh, I hate that anyway, so... Because it's way better, in my opinion, to have camera uh, fit to fit the uh, actual actual lighting of the space. I'm just gonna lighten things up a bit in the background. Okay, let's get back into combat, and we'll test, and we'll just make sure that the quality is all good. Like I said, if there's no major dips compared to my previous YouTube streams. If the quality is as good as or better than my previous YouTube streams, then I'm happy. Because what I've done, right, although although I've said I've maxed out settings, right, what I've actually done, fun fact, is I've made the stream lighter. Um, basically, it's not consuming as much bandwidth. Aw, oh, sorry, Logan. Take care, my dude. But yeah, I'm basically making this stream itself consume less bandwidth. And how we're doing this is by having it render from my graphics card and using... Um, slightly different settings than what we do normally use so yep yeah, i'll just trust y'all on the feedback oh shit this thing's dead dang well that was beautiful back to town then oh crap i forgot the very smart of me uh no problem catharistic i am happy to help Thank you for coming in my stream. Welcome to the show. Let me know if there are any quality problems. I am currently in the midst of uh, testing out how I can get the very best of the best for all of you guys on stream. So welcome to the show. Hope you have fun with us. Now... I think I have every dexterity node. So what we're going to do is...
Exploit is plus 39. Let's put exploit in there. Plus 44 now. And then we'll put sacrificial in here. Just need one more intelligence node. We're going to take both of these off. There. And now we can focus on all the magic nodes instead. So this should be quite beautiful. Yep, one more armor there. So yep, I'm getting a lot of extra damage and armor. Less bonuses to elites, but that's okay. Because that should be just fine. Hi, hi, honey. That's okay, Big Chungus. You go ahead and have plans with your brother. Hi, Kazzy. Looks the same, Rena? Okay, good. As long as it's the same or better, I'm, I'm satisfied because, like I said, I have literally, thanks to the kick settings, managed to trim down the amount of bandwidth. But yes, hi, my Kazzy. My girl has shown up to also assist on my little quality check. I'm going to get into combat soon. Just want to make sure that uh, you came back from having an egg crisis. Okay, good. Congrats on your egg crisis. Okay, I hope it was a good crisis. I guess you could say, I hope it was a crisis core. Ah, ah. Okay, sorry. Terrible Final Fantasy joke. Um, Shifting City is... God, crit resist and vulnerable resist? Are you kidding me? Armor breakers? That ain't happening. Oh, come on. Gotta have at least armor breakers? No way. Really? None of the good ones? Oh. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just go to freaking Immortal Emanation. But yes, hello everyone. Callie, I hope everybody's doing well. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna get into combat, like I mentioned. Sorry about the delays. We're gonna get into combat. Please let me know if there are, if there is any quality difference between <clears throat> yesterday's uh, YouTube stream and today's YouTube stream. If it's the same or better today, then just give me a thumbs up. That's it, okay? <laughs> Oh lord, Kaz, I love that. I hope it didn't crack you up. That's epic. That's epic. But yes, let me know if quality is the same or, you know, better than yesterday. As long as it's at least the same, I am satisfied. Because what, I'm do what I've done today, you know, just being fully honest, is I've actually managed to lower the total amount of bandwidth being consumed by my stream. Which, of course, is better for both viewers and myself, so that you guys don't have to load as much data as well. And all of this was because... I realize certain kick settings could be emulated on YouTube. Hey, Artie. <laughs> scrambled, huh? I do love my scrambled eggs. Lol, Kaz. The phone is not your friend today, is it? Her phone sometimes fills her with rage. We got separated. My friends were cut down. I won't last on my own.
name. Thank you, Without you. You'll be fine, honey bear. Think I, can manage from here. Please. I take it no major quality problems during that fight sequence because I certainly didn't see anything on my end. Um, checking from my own phone. So, quality should be as good as my usual streams are. Should. Okay. In that case, I'd say we're fine. You're checking me from the laptop, right, honey? Just thought I'd ask. Okay, thank you. In that case, I'd say we are fine then. I can stop worrying about it, so this will be the new settings then. Because if there's no problem even in combat... Well, 100% believe in you. I knew I could count on all of you. Thank you very much, alright? <clears throat> Especially my honey for coming through. My little baby doll. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Okay, good. So if anyone wants to know, um, just to explain what I did. Basically, YouTube has a certain bitrate that is recommended. YouTube actually recommends a 9000 bitrate for streams. Um, this actually is not relevant, even if you're streaming at 1080p, 60fps. The reason for, for that is that Kick can actually do it at about just 7000. Um, this enables you, this allows you to stream with a much lower bitrate, which also means that your viewers don't have to load as much data when you, um, they're watching your stream. Overall, a much more pleasant experience across the board. However, in order to enable this type of um, streaming, you do have to have a fairly decent graphics card. And basically, you're gonna, you're gonna make it so the graphics card takes almost all of the load. Of rendering all right and when it does that you can basically make connections better for viewers all of it is about the viewer experience you may experience some light uh, FPS drops in your games especially if you're playing on extremely demanding settings but I never do that in, in the first place because as a streamer it's not so much my quality that matters but the viewers experience that matters so I don't usually worry about you know playing on max settings you know ray tracing 4k 4k and all that kind of stuff no i don't um i just focus on getting the best possible fps that is double the stream fps which is 120 frames per second and that's usually good enough for me and i just play on my own uh monitor resolution and that's that's it so i'm just really glad that uh the changes today have worked out um if there's anyone that does however have any comments about it or you feel that um, your experience is not in line with what I've just described feel free to tell me I'm not gonna get angry um, it'll just help me fine-tune things all right so if anyone does feel differently please feel free to speak up all of this is so that I can deliver you know I'm an Asian man okay customer service is in my blood all right y'all know it I don't have to say it twice okay I, I just want to create the best possible viewer experience from you guys from all the different things that I learn, whether it's learning from kick streaming, things like that, like there's a lot for me to learn out there. And that's why I, you know, study all these things and then I test, learn, and bring them to you guys because I just want you guys to have the best possible experience on my stream. Okay? So thank you to everybody watching right now. Don't forget to like and share. All right, and let me know if there are any problems. If you know, to feel free to still let me know if there are any issues. I'll never say no to that. I'm always willing to learn and burn and churn with an urn but once again let me thank everybody that uh, especially took the time because I know uh, Chungus is at work, Newbie's at work um, and of course Kaz is at work as well and she still took the time to check me on three different devices so thank you all for helping me uh, <laughs> ensure everything is worthwhile I can't bro even if I'm not making porn 
Uh, because of how Singapore law works, and I'm a Singapore, don't forget, I'm still a Singaporean citizen, regardless of where I live in the world. Alright, I'm still beholden to Singapore. Um, it would be illegal for me to stream on a porn site because, you know, based on the nature of the website, okay? Unfortunately, it would count as doing sex work, which is a felony in Singapore. I would get arrested and go to prison, and then y'all wouldn't get any streams, you know, regardless of whether it was on Pornhub or on YouTube, okay? Alright, so that's why I cannot stream on Pornhub, you know? I considered Pornhub, X Hamster, you know, all of them. I know all of them, okay? All the X websites. I attempted it, I thought about it, but you know, couldn't go through with it, man. For good reason, yeah? <laughs> Rena, Rena, the homie is at work, man. The homie is at work. Hey, Jerry, how's it going, man? How's it going, Palo? Welcome to the stream test. Yeah? Let me know if there are any major issues. Or if the stream is just looking crispy clean on your end, then sit back and enjoy the show because we are rocking it. Wow, this is trash. That is the most trash ring I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of rings, man. Wow. Farewell and good fortune. Your nice three-day vacay sounds really good, my dude. Sounds really good. <laughs> oh, look at Zane doing a double check. Thank you. Wednesdays and Sundays are your day off? Well, listen. I'll see you on the Wednesdays and Sundays. <laughs> Oh wait, Sunday, it would be my Monday morning for you, but yes. Yes. I'm adding so much armor to my to my dude right now, it's gonna be a bit crazy. Okay, then the only thing left now is because I've got all these glyphs and whatnot. I might capture a few extra bonuses. A few extra Venuses. I'm definitely going to get these extra armor bonuses there. And I probably do want the max life, so... Gonna go down there and grab all that. Um, the only thing I'm probably missing is just a bit of dex, which I can get pretty easily. If I wanted to just grab some extra dex, and I could do so just going down here and grabbing this armor stuff. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll just take a moment. Da 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 da. Okay, that's perfect. And I can grab some extra max life as well. Which would settle me really nicely. Okay. Also, Jerry, you heard about my kick? Gonna be doing a documentary series there. Which I think is going to be very interesting. <clears throat> yes! But I'm going to tell you, if you ever want to follow me on Kick, the mobile app is booty. <laughs> we all tried. Nobody could follow me from the mobile app. Everybody had to go to their browser to follow me. It was so stupid. But oh well. Let's see how it goes. It's so booty, like, I think that they, you know, my feeling, my feeling, guys, is that they invested all their money into uh, the streaming side of things. Because the kick streams look better than it streams anywhere else. It looks better than on Twitch. It actually looks better than on YouTube. So, honest to God, the kick streams look the best out of all the other places. But I will tell you one thing. Their... Mm, their... Mm, their service is... Mm, on a, I'm, I'm not saying it's booty, but it's booty. It is hella booty. I wish I could lie to you, but I can't even lie to you. 
It is extremely bootay. Yes, you are, Stuffy. Now behave, okay? Behave. Yeah! This, yeah, I literally think they poured everything into their streaming, dude. Like, they, they clearly poured everything, all their entire budget, into the streaming side. And then, um... And, of course, the payouts for the streamers that they've signed and whatnot. But everything else is absolutely booty. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> uh... I'm not saying this to be mean, but, you know, it is what it is. Their mobile, their mobile app is complete dog shit. Let's not even lie, you know? Okay, you're still going with that story, are you, Stuffy? Okay, look, dude. Until you can be legit with us, you know. I'm on an Android. Kaz is on a iPhone, I think. Um, yeah, I'm on Android. I'm on Android. I don't, I don't own Apple products because uh, I have bad blood with them. I have deep blood. Unless they decide to sponsor me and pay my wages and everything, then I'll say, "Hey, Apple, what up, my bro? Brakumbo." You know. If they did that, I'd say, okay, you know, you guys are cool. You guys are cool. Very cool. But because they are not as cool, you know. I'm okay with their UI, as long as they pay me to advertise their stuff. So Apple, I'll be waiting for a deal from you guys as I continue to blow up as a streamer, okay? One day, I'm gonna go get, uh... Yeah, I was trying their app. I was trying their app and it was booty. But I have to use their app because I don't have a second screen, so in order to see chat, I have to use their app, but it's okay like for me because for my purposes all I do is I just search myself and they let me find myself on their app which is pretty easy then I just throw it on it's it's not like because um, Chrome can be a bit bloated sometimes so I tend not to use Chrome if I can to view my own stream so yeah that was probably the only issue I had but other than that you know it wasn't a problem it was okay I got another Mariner's Refuge Until but spring. Instead of marinating, you know? Take the poison affix because the other one had drifting shade. Oh, so uh, Stuffy over there claimed that his girlfriend in the Air Force was shot. So, of course, we said, oh, okay, you know, we hope she's all right. Then he claimed he was shot. So, you know. If you're gonna troll on a stream, I don't think it's a great idea. Especially, please don't describe yourself encountering physical violence because if you are legitimately being harmed physically, I don't think you'll be on some streamer's stream, alright? So if you- if people are gonna continue with that narrative, if he's gonna continue on with that nonsense, he's gonna go straight into Chokey, you know. I'm gonna let his view count for my ad revenue, but I'm gonna keep putting him in the Chokey, so. They gotta learn to behave, because this is YouTube, this is not kick. Alright, no problem, newbie. Enjoy your training. I don't know what GM training is, but it sounds like good morning training, so enjoy your good morning training. Oh, Kaz with the snap right there, dang. 
But yes, uh, there are some jokes that are okay, some jokes are not okay, gun violence jokes are not okay. Please remember that this is YouTube, not Kick, so we should all control our stuff. <laughs> Grandmaster training! No, 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 I, I, I believe now that it is uh, Grandmaster training. Newbie is a number one Grandmaster player now. And we, we must refer to him as the Grandmaster. <laughs> General Motors, the Vico manufacturer. No, 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 no. What do you mean General Motors? No, no, no. It's Grandmaster now. You are officially Grandmaster rank now. Congratulations on being top 500. Okay? We respect this. Your GM rank is, is approved. Okay. What a sunny, lovely day. Lol. That is a... That, that joke has been rehashed in so many different ways, but lol. I know exactly that. Oh man, did I just blow myself up? Dang it. Okay. Okay, time to collect my poor dead self and, of course, the uh, <laughs> one tiny gold loot pile that I missed. You know, despite the fact that I've stacked so much armor on this character, it's so, it's so wild that, like, just one explosion blows me up like, yo, come on. It can't be that bad, can it, guys? Kaz always sees through everyone's smoke screen. It is very difficult to lie to her, which is why I don't. I just accept the truth and tell the truth. pretty good to stream without issues la 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 feels pretty good to stream without issues la 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 I gotta I gotta say though genuinely I'm super happy with this lighter stream load like um it feels better on my PC as well <laughs> cause I'm not cause I'm not suffering as much while playing so, overall, today is a win, guys. And thank you all for being here to be a part of that win. Yep. I'm just, I'm just glad that the quality is like, you know, the same as it always is because for me, um, although I didn't want to reveal it, but you know, I, I think for the sake of honesty that I did, um, realistically the only, the gain was the, the lighter stream weight. I mean, in terms of bitrate. So being able to do exactly what I was doing before, but on like saving one, basically, although it's only one megabyte per second, when you're using Wi-Fi, that one megabyte per second makes a huge difference. When you're connecting with games, things like that, and um, 
the rendering load on my PC is obviously not that high, so honest to god, I'm pretty happy. And that just makes things very pleasant overall, you know? So the stream is looking really good. Um, because it'll benefit, it'll benefit faster paced games as well. Which I think will be important. <laughs> uh, bitrate just means like how much uh, of my internet bandwidth is, is being consumed. So basically the higher the bitrate, the more of my internet bandwidth is being consumed solely for the purpose of transmitting my stream to you guys. So with a, with a higher bitrate, it means more of my internet is taken up in the process of uploading my stream as opposed to um, playing the game, you know, downloading game data, things like that. Um, so all of that eats up bandwidth, but it would mean that if you have a higher bitrate, more of that bandwidth is allocated to the stream and to transmitting the stream to whatever site you're on, Kick, YouTube, things like that. So when I change my settings over to Kick standards, um, basically it consumes less bandwidth. So I wanted to try and import those same settings over on YouTube. Okay. I have lost you at bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Higher tiers, I believe, are for playing with friends. They are there for you to play with friends. Because as much as I'd love to play them, it's so pointless when the leveling is already one of the most painful processes ever. Ugh, Lord. Lord Almighty. If only this had better rolls. But this is a nice ancestral wand. Lower item power and low rolls. Ugh. Both no good. Too much knowledge, is it? All right. That's fine. I can accept that. So what do I have? You know, I've never gone to uh, Bastion of Faith. Let's go try it out. I mean, it could either be good or really, really booty. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna finish out around 1.30, and then I'm gonna go hang with Kaz. Yeah, 1.30. Then I shall hang with Kaz. I've also gotta, honestly, today I'm kinda tired, so I'm gonna make sure that I get everything sorted out, and then start my docu-series tomorrow. But even then, even if I were to do, like, a slightly later stream, I would probably, uh, just in all fairness, end around 2 a.m., I don't think I'm going to try for the 3 a.m.s anymore. Lol, Boog. I'm definitely going to pick that up for tomorrow. I know the Alpha Variants have dropped an Exo Primal, but the um, player base is too small in Exo Primal. So I'm not really taking a risk on it right now. I'm actually probably going to check out Wayfinder instead. Eh, let's see how Exoprimal is doing, actually. Because in some of the small regions, yeah, player average down to about 1,000. Bit too small, even with the Game Pass people on there, so yeah. Bit painful. No problem, no problem, Chungus Man. Instead, I'm looking forward to checking out Wayfinder. Boo, what's the, uh, what package, what Founders Pack did you get and how much did it cost you? Because I need to budget for it. So I'm gonna buy a bigger one, or if I need to buy a bigger one, then uh, I'm gonna need to. 
I'm going to need to budget accordingly. So, Boo, what's the what's the info? Give me a breakdown. You know, so I, I feel like I should, uh, like, for, for Boog, I should be like, Kowalski, stats! <laughs> $20 at base, okay? Which one did you get? And are there, and which one should I be personally on the lookout for? Inform me, so that I may know. Ah, not gonna catch me that time, flame. Okay, you're just gonna get the base pack? Sounds good. 20 is- 20 is very easy to achieve. I think like a couple of wraps and I'm done. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! But yeah, I'm defi definitely looking forward to checking out. Dumaro. Lumaro. Gumaro. Kumaro. Boom morrow. Dang. Any any key benefits of these higher packs or no? Nah? I'm buying no higher packs, no. Nah. Dude, does it like Dang, these Wayfinder people, their game is gonna be free to play. Do I look like I'm made out of money? Suddenly, that reminds me I should check in on Kami. Where's Kami? There we go. A limited skin for the higher spot. And, uh, I'll play it and see what the reaction's like then. Fuck it. I'll get that funded. If it's if somebody wants to see me running around that shit, but otherwise no. If it's just a skin, that sounds booty. No value. No value. Okay, I'll see you on the 20 pack tomorrow. Is there is there an upgrade from 20? What does the upgrade from 20 contain? Because it can't just be 20 and 100, right? There's gotta be there's gotta be an upgrade in between. In between that shit. What's the next level up and what do I get? Do I get do I get a you know like Dillo Bat skin or something? Some minor cosmetics, okay. And premium currency, okay. Okay. Well, that's not happening then. Log titles. Nope, they get they get in my twenty and that's it. I'll buy their shit if their content makes me money. So they better hope that their game is fucking impressive. Alright? Because if it's not, then I will send them into the booty bin. Ooh. 
Yeah. to give my enemies I deal 10 million damage in a couple of seconds they cannot resist me There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy of Tea. The winds blew up her bayou dip day, no blow me, bully boys blow. Soon may the wellerman come, to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the time has done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks on shore, when down on her right way bore. Captain called all hands and swore he'd take that wheel in tow. Soon may the wellerman come, to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the fun is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when I and her right way go. Captain called our hands and so we'd take that wheel and go. Ah, okay. Dungeon over. So this is a bastion of faith. Not too bad, I guess. Relatively short. Relatively. Okay. Dirty Goat. <laughs> I love that guy's title. <laughs> there is... Nothing more for me to do other than get to level 100. And I will finally need to grind my way there. Na 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 have so much extra gold because this stuff is super ice cold. Da na 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 Da na 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 Okay, now let's have a look at the dungeons again. Mercy's Reach, Ancient Reservoir, Commodore Temple, Charnel House. I wonder if Charnel House is any good. Let's go. It will either be good or bad. Help me write an exciting tweet for my live stream. I am playing a necromancer in Diablo 4 where I am close to ending. Thank you for all the hearts. Time for a chat GPT tweet. Don't forget to like the stream guys if you haven't already, alright? Please like the stream. The more y'all like the stream, the more viewers will be coming in. Hey, I'm doing good, buddy. How are you doing? Bro, I was just checking in on you on, on Discord because I hadn't checked in in quite a while. I just wanted to make sure you are right. I wasn't summoning you, don't worry. But are you okay? Are you doing all right? I get worried about you once in a while, you know? Gotta always check in on you, man. How's things? You're doing just fine? Good. Very happy to hear that. Always gotta keep up with my friends. Life's been good to you? Good. I'm very happy to hear that. That 
is very good to know. Oh, don't even touch me like that. Ah. And thank you to everybody who's liked the stream. Please make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already, yeah? I'd be grateful. Okay. I've been doing good. I've been doing good. So, basically, I've just been playing a lot of Diablo 4 because the content's been really good. Um, player interest has waned a little bit on this game, though, so I'm looking forward to my next project. One of which is a documentary series about kick streaming and things like that, and also a new game just dropped called Wayfinder. Um, that I'm very interested in. So, I'll be getting in on the early access of that, checking it out. Think it might be worth having a look-see. See if I can bring my Diablo 4 knowledge over. Yep, I've also got some other games that I'm partnered with and deals that are coming, but... Um, one of them is for a next year release called The First Ascendant. That's with Nexon Korea. Um, but the other one, I, it's just unofficial for now, but once it's official, everybody's gonna know about it. I mean, you're in the Discord, so you might have been able to see it already. But yeah, that's the, those are the only two that I am currently, currently thinking about. But other than that, you know, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yes. Said, you know, definitely can't complain. Ooh, this thing cannot touch me. For now, I'm just trying to push my Necromancer in Diablo 4 to 100. And the journey is painful because it takes a long while, unfortunately. C'est la vie, c'est la vie. How about you? What's been going on in your life, buddy? What has been happening for Lakami? Oh, damn. That's pretty wild. Enjoy your destiny addiction. I just cannot go back to a bungee style game, but you know, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I've blown way too much money on that game trying to, you know, get it all up. Never again. Oh yeah? You played Diablo 4 and you didn't come to my streams, bro? I'm disappointed in you, man. Should've come by. It was good times. But listen, it's, if you're focusing on Destiny 2, that's also alright. I don't blame most people for waning interest in Diablo 4. The end game is a little bit not there, so most people are just getting to level 100, uh, finishing a few characters, and then dipping out for the rest of the season, which is understandable. Yeah, it's okay. Nothing wrong with having a low level. As you know, the Asian robot has the best builds, so... They will be on my YouTube channel if you ever need them. Only the best of the best for my people.
That I know. That I know. That I know and remember. Lever one, lever two. Okay, clean and clear. Now let's roll, 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 roll your boat gently down the stream. Well, oh, so this is the charnel house. Now I at least remember. Yep, understandable. Nothing wrong with that. We all gotta work to live, bro. I know that feel most of all. That reminds me, speaking of working to live, I should check in on Emmy. I haven't heard from him either in quite a while. Well, since I thought about it, I should go check on him. Let's get rid of that blood blister. And then we'll go check in on Emmon. Where is Emmon? Gang's doing fine. Gang's doing fine. Truffles has gone off for his military service. Boog is still here. I've got some new additions to the gang. Kaz is working right now. As she always is. At this time, I mean. Um, but yeah, gang's mostly fine. And we've got some lovely new faces thanks to uh, Diablo 4 as well, which is really cool. So that's been very nice. Yep. Well, I mean, Truffle's military service is mandatory, so he's got to be in for about two years, but. Well, slightly less than two years for him, but yeah, it's, I think it's a year and ten months. But yeah, he's duking it out there. He's enjoying role-playing armor in real life. Even higher bonus now, yeah. Okay, back to town. This one's bad. Good price.
Fight hard, eh? Make the devil mm -hmm. pay. Let's go around. Bada bing, bada boom. Grab all this extra. I don't stream on Twitch anymore. Twitch is a worthless platform in my opinion. Right now, the only thing I'm considering is moving to Kick. Because, um, well, moving the streaming to Kick, I mean. YouTube will always be my main and I'm not moving any of my evening streams, which are my most crucial streams. But I am considering moving the morning streams to Kick just to try it out. It's part of my new documentary series, so... Uh, I guess it's a way of diversifying my content, but also making something interesting outside of just pure gaming. So, that's coming up. Oh, excuse me. Yum, 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 yum. I've been working a little extra hard today. So I'm hit, getting hit with those sleepy vibes after dinner. But, other than that, I am alright. Oh, did we get any sigils that are good? No, we did not. I don't want to do Path of the Blind either. But I guess that's all we got. So Path of the Blind it is. And there's good and there's bad about it. The good is that if you're streaming on Kick, the streams look really good. The bad is that the mobile app is complete booty. Uh, that's just me being honest. The mobile app is complete booty. Uh, it's actually hard to get people to follow properly on Kick, but... If you are interested in my kick, all right. This is my kick right now. My project begins tomorrow. So here you go. You can follow me on kick. Thank you to everybody who liked the stream, by the way. And thank you to those of you sharing on social media as well. I've seen some of it and I appreciate it tremendously. Keep it up. Keep it up. Those likes will help you make me a better streamer. The mobile app is absolute booty, but you can definitely... Uh, like just check out via the PC so it's fine but yep there we are I don't know why the alert came up but that alert was literally not supposed to happen huh. I'm on YouTube right now but somehow the alerts actually played whoops sorry let me just temporarily remove that by changing the scene because I don't want the alerts to come in. I gotta remember to disable and enable that. Lol, welcome to the dojo. That amused me greatly. Oh shit, I died. Just because for one second I was doing something different. No! Haha, <laughs> sure. Sure. I'll give you your OG badge. But yes, uh, I am looking, I'm genuinely looking forward to it. I think it'll be interesting. Well, first I need 75 followers. So what I'm going to see, like the whole purpose of my documentary is to see whether or not I can grow organically on kick. That means without networking with any other streamers, without participating in hosts, raids, things like that, just purely natural growth. You know, the objective of my whole vlog vlogumentary since it's a vlog documentary is is it going to be possible to grow purely organically on kick with no intervention you know so i'm interested to see how it turns out But I think that over time they will improve their mobile app. But for me, right now, right, I can see that all of their budget is very, very clearly put into one thing. And that is their streaming side of things. Because honest to God, this streaming on Kick is actually legitimately better than Twitch. And I go as far as to say that their quality is better than YouTube, which has made a major difference to me 
as a streamer. Like, I have been pretty impressed with that. You know? I have been pretty damn impressed with it. Yep, no problem. Enjoy your work, buddy. Have a good one. Thank you for catching up, you know? And I'm glad you're doing alright. Always gotta check in on my homies. I knew there was a chest there. Ah, yes. Come, my confused necromancer who goes around in circles. Oh, Path of the Blind is this one. Oh, that's actually not too bad. That means I should do Path of the Blind more. Memorizing all the maps is actually pretty annoying. But I suppose it would make sense to do so. Frost Demise. Hopefully with good modifiers. Please let it not be some booty modifier. Whew. Dunked. That's one. Okay, that's another lovely bloodstone for the collection. The one shots are too real. Let's go over to the other side. Grab the greed shrine. And there we go. Sometimes I feel like Spider Man grabbing all those things at once. Whew. There, random skirted land. How you doing? Would you like 16 million damage to your face? I think you'd like 16 million damage to your face. Sacrificial is almost maxed out. Then I'm just gonna chuck XP into random glyphs <laughs> that I had that have no further purpose. Just chuck the XP into all the glyphs. 
Okay. Sell off all this. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Junked. Okay, what do we got? What have we got? Path of Blind, Avenger with Barrier Breaker. I'll take that. No, herbalist, alchemist. Oh yes, my friend, oh yes, you know it. You know it for sure. What's the most numerous elixir I can make? Galavine and bite berries. What can I convert into Galavine? If only I could craft the, uh, if only I could craft the other materials. Like if I could craft Angel's Breath and all that other kind of stuff into Galavine, I'd be very happy with that. There's another five potions. Ready. So I hope your meeting was all right, Mr. Chung's man. Hope you had an okay meeting. Okay meeting of the minds. I'm gonna have Warthers. Speed at, uh, People call it the old people candy, but it's so good for my throat. Keeps it lubricated for the performances. Alright, we'll go. Come at me, foul creatures. You are not ready to face the mortal foe. Let me read your comment in a second, Mr. Jimmy Ray Mondo. Welcome to the stream. Okay. You don't need Aspect of Trampled Earth to make it work. Um, you will actually be fine without that. Did you watch any of the streams where I played the Druid in the early and mid game? Because if you haven't, you can check out those streams. I played it in World Tier 2. I deliberately made the, uh, the leveling journey more difficult for myself. Why did I do this? Because I wanted to show you guys how to properly play the build that I'm playing. So, if you haven't checked that out yet, I suggest you do. It'll show you exactly how um, I managed to do it in the early and mid game stages without any of the proper aspects, things like that. I mean, you're not going to be able to kill as fast as I can now that I'm in World Tier 3 and I have all these aspects that I need because a lot of those aspects are drop only. But you can still definitely manage it and that's why i did all of my leveling live on stream so if you haven't checked it out yet please do 
it would be a big help to you, man. And it will probably also teach you the exact way in which I played the Druid and how I, you know, structured it in the early and mid game. So I hope that'll be helpful to you, man. That's how we survive. No problem. Uh, they're not really videos, they're streams, so they'll be under the live section. But yeah, you can check out my previous streams and just literally see how I did it live. Because all of my builds and stuff, right, I'll play them live like I'm doing with the Necromancer right now. And then only once it's past a certain stage, like I've legitimately played it live and I can prove to you guys the results on my live streams, that's when I publish and release the videos, you know, showing all the stuff that I do, all the stuff that happened, you know, whether stuff is good, bad, the other, you know, that kind of thing. Now this guy on the ground, he's like, I can't take anymore. Like, homie, you're not even doing the fighting. I chill, man. I got you, bro. I'm the wanderer. I got magic. I got that Hogwarts legacy, bro. Why are you afraid? Nothing gonna happen to you, bro. Ah, yeah, level 92. You know, guys, the time between levels is getting longer. Like, going from 91 to 92 was pretty crazy. That took an hour and 15 minutes. Sorry, no, that took longer, didn't it? An hour and 30 minutes. So, so, um, it's actually getting longer and longer in each cycle. Let's grab some early armor. Mm 
Mm-mm. Yeah. Dunzo. And pop goes the weasel. Almost maxed on sacrificial. Let's get back. Ooh, that's another dungeon. Smacked down. And talking to my girl for a second. <laughs> Win favor, my friend. Okay, let's take a look at all this gear. Okay, that was the only decent thing in there. Let me see. The rest of this. None of them have edge masters. Which means all of them are useless to me. I'm gonna go chuck that sword in the stash. Okay, 
check. Much work, wood chuck chuck, wood chuck, wood chuck, wood. Yeah. All right, now. 30% extra duration on elixirs. Yeah. Means I can spend less on elixirs. Any hell tides around? Let's go into a hell tide real quick. Because I really want some potions. I'm like in that why don't I have enough potions mode. Raindrops keep falling on my head. And I just really want some people to give me potions and like my stream. Cause all these raindrops keep falling, oh they just keep falling on. <laughs> Get speared, goat. Get speared, goats! Get speared, all of you! They deserve that. Get speared as well, deer! Hello, banana cake. How are you today? Are you delicious? Uh, come at me, event. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Let's go ruin their lives. Far from over, leave the lost and dead behind. Now's your chance to run for cover. I don't want to change the world. I just want to leave it colder. Light the fuse and burn it off. Take path. It leads to nowhere, all is lost again. But I'm not giving in, I will not bow, I will not break, I will shut the world away. And I'm not proud, oh what a fake, I will take your breath away. Bet you all love my singing. Yeah, get exploded, goats. Get exploded.
And then come at me, random demon. Ah, there he goes. Popped nicely. Of course, this is useless, but it doesn't matter. I need to figure out where the hell tied chests are. Uh, give me a moment. And also, thank you to everybody who's been liking the stream, yeah? Keep it up. Hit that like button. Give me your love. If you do, then sexy things may happen. Yeah, let's go here. That's where one of the chests are. So we shall wander over. Escape from me, dear. Yeah. I, I know I shouldn't, but it just amuses me and entertains me a lot. <laughs> Might be a little bit evil, but you know, just can't help it. I'll see, I'll see the enemies and I'll just have to kill them, you know? Making my way across the delta is a bit tricky. Heard that message so many times this season. Let the Ooh, open up, open sesame. You just need a little bit more. cage chart I just got, but... Oh, it's the Helltide Assassin, huh? Lol, do you want to see the Helltide Assassin get ripped in seconds? Look at that, he feared me, but there he goes. There goes the Helltide Assassin. Bada bing, bada boom. Time to head back to town. Perfect time to drink some hot water, pick up my chest. Life is good. LG, life's good. You know, my mom bought me a new water bottle today for preserving the hot water. It's so good. <sighs> Keeps the water nice and hot so I can just drink it slowly. 
Is this dude's name literally Hush Your Gum? That is, that is impressive. I thought I heard the old man say, Leave her, John, leave her. Tomorrow you get your pay, and it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, the voyage is long and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. I hate to sail on this rotten dog. Leave her, John, leave her. No grog allowed and rotten grub, and it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, John, leave her. Oh, leave her, John, leave her. Oh, the voyage is long and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. We swear by root for want of more. Leave her, John, leave her. But now we're through, so we'll go on shore, and it's time. For us to leave her. All right. Sacred shield acquired. <laughs> Only one legendary. Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm doing this Helltide mostly for the potions, but really, really, I, it's supposed to serve as a break from whatever it is I'm doing, I get it, but damn, that was really what you gave me, one legendary, okay, that is beyond booty, okay. Build the Helltide boss for this. Really the wrong way to use healing magic. Okay, um, I know where the other chest is. But I just want to be sure. Oh, so it isn't there. Okay. And just clean up all these twisted souls. It is around here. Or around here, one of the two places. So, let's head over there. We will kill everything along the way up to about Kyogshad. Let's travel north from here. Travel to the North Division.
Four brutal power. No match for an actual warrior, of course. What have you got for me? Oh, that is a terrible heart of revenge. 10%? That's all? Wow. Lowest possible roll has just been delivered. Die, random deers. You will not escape me, foul creatures. The stag's done as well. No escape for you, goat man. None of you. None shall survive. Your pain shall be legendary. If anyone knows which line that is from, 100% Blizzard OG right there. <laughs> Across. And now, time to earn up about a hundred and fifty. We're going to need, yeah, 130 more cinders, which we can gather roughly along the way. So long as we keep absolutely one-shotting everything. How's the runs going? Pretty normal. Welcome to my improved stream. Let me know if there are any major problems, if the stream looks just as good as it did before, or perhaps better, then I have succeeded in my job. Welcome today, Mr. Daily Gamer Bros. Honest God though, I'm in the Helltide because I'm just picking up some materials for elixirs, and also picking up elixirs from the mystery chest. As soon as I grab two chests worth, that's enough for the day. I'm Hopping back to the Nightmare Dungeons because I'm now wasting my leveling time. Huh. Go for it. I never need it anymore because uh, I'm almost guaranteed a crit anyway. So, Bone Storm is a waste of time and a waste of aspect slots for me. I just go for that pure mmm. I just go for that pure stacked up damage. Oof. Can't resist. Oh yes, oh yes. The secret is thanks to kick streaming. If you copy the same settings for YouTube that you use on kick streaming, right? Not only do you have lower bandwidth requirements for your viewers, therefore making the stream easier for them to access, but you can achieve higher quality as well, which is really nice. Oh yeah, Bone Storm is a trap. I'm gonna tell you this now, guys. Bone Storm is a trap! Don't touch the Bone Storm. Touch the Booty Storm instead, okay? Bone storm bad. Booty storm good. Almost done. Oh look, there's an event. Which is perfect for me. Hello event. You know, I wish these so-called malignant hordes would spawn a bit faster. <coughs> My 
My only, my only down factor is actually just sitting here waiting for them all to spawn. Like, come now, I don't have all day, you know. I'd like to get this done real quick. Too many ovals, eh? Well, I guess I'll go back and spend some. But for now, I dare say... We have achieved our goal. Oh, come on. I wasn't even in that hitbox. How rude of them. Inventory's full, seriously? Yeah, I'll just ditch two of the sacred pieces. Oh, come. Really, Succubus? Was now the time? Okay. Back to town. Ooh. Okay. Wow, none of them were edge masters. Only one of them was an actual edge masters. Such a shame. I'm gonna go store up the other one and then I'll delete the rest. And once that's done and the inventory cleared, we're heading back into the nightmare dungeons. Ah, oh, there you are, druid boy. Take that. Rings are still imperfect. Shame, shame. Alright, time to sell. Sold. And this one caged heart. So my inventory is as clear as possible. My character will be happily stuck here. As it always is. Let's get out there. Right. Now. What do we have that is decent? Let's start at the top. Heretic's Asylum, but with vulnerable. Hoarfrost Demise with Volcanic. Suppressed on Armor Breaker is definitely a no-no, so... Hoarfrost Demise it is. That'll be the fastest that we can possibly get. Okay. Let's go, team. Time to go get that leveling done. Second, you get to always see new people turning up and enjoying the videos. He's a good. Hmm? Okay, let's go get started. Nice little drink of hot water. Then let's go burn.
Oh dear, oh dear. Doing boring work. Well, at least you're getting paid to do it, right? And there's that much at least, my dear Chungus friend. Nothing wrong with being paid to do work. Why is my... Oh, my glasses had a little drop of water on it. I'll take that, man. Because the more that y'all watch, the more I get paid in return. So, hey, you'll never hear me complain. The XP gain in the Helltide was so slow. Like, no matter how many I killed, it wasn't worth it. Then you come here, and killing is actually worth something. Also, I completely forgot to spend murmuring obols, didn't I? Darn it! Well, that's okay. Oh man, you know, I totally haven't heard that. 100% missed that, Chungus man, you know? Totally blew my mind, bro. Can't believe I missed that. Such great information, ain't it? Not. <laughs> slash S. Slash utter sarcasm. Bugging hell. You know, it's YouTube, man. I'm trying to be all cool, calm, collected. And, you know, trying to keep it 300. Trying not to go into rant mode today. Getting me close, getting me close. Now we all know, we all know the truth. So best we all just follow that truth and not think too hard. And the truth is, Helltide sucks.
Okay, where is Dorporeal? Oh, control. I guess I can level that up too. Because why not? <laughs> I got nowhere else to dump my Glyph XP. So I'm gonna level up control. Oh, yeah. I literally just need a dash of dexterity, which would be perfectly fine. Which I can achieve just by going down here, which is great, and I really want that, but... I respect him. Hmm. No, they they aren't. We already measured them and they are so trash. Legion event is only if you really really want those extra mount skins, but at my current point, um like the journey itself to level up takes so long that even getting those mount skins aren't really worth it cuz I don't really use much of my mounts right now, you know? Once you're grinding hell tides, all you do is not like you can use them in a dungeon, right? So all I do is I just literally teleport into dungeon, teleport out. I don't even use my mount. So there's no point in me hunting the mount skin, you know, past the early stages of the game. Then you get to like, then on top of that, the Legion events and the hell tides are like zero use. I only use them strictly for the potions. Like that is all that it gives me, you know? Just the potions. And that's it. And that is so sad. Like, it should not be that way, but it is. And that truly, truly disappoints me. Let's try this faceless shrine. I want to see if it's decent or not. I mean, I just collect my eight. I don't really, I don't really need elixirs for anything. So, Answer a comment. Other than that, Boom. The max life one is nice. I mean, that one and the uh, 900 armor one. Although, generally, you benefit more from the 900 armor one than the max life one. But, yeah. Those are nice, but, I mean, when would you use them? Unless you're pushing, like, tier 100 nightmare dungeons, then by all means, farm those hell tides. Because you'll be getting really good potions to use for your um, tier 100 nightmare pushes. Or for Uber Lilith. Um, but since I don't really do those activities right now, um, I'm probably not going to farm a hell tide for those. I mean, once I get close to that actual level 100, then I will, because next step was beating Uber Lilith.
I think somebody did it at like what 85 or something but I wouldn't know I'm sure somebody could do it low enough with a few good tactics and uh, possibly an exploit or cheesy build sounds possible or if they twink themselves out because uh, basically if you buy gear and you buy max god rolled stuff say with funds earned on a separate character you could technically do uber lilith very early like if you just grab the minimum paragon points and glyphs and all that and you just focus solely on that it should be possible But of course, that I wouldn't really count as beating her, you know, early. So unless the dude is solo self-found and proves that, you know, I just don't believe it. Because any early kill could have been a tricked out kill, you know. So I want to see it with half-ass gear, with... Uh, Bad glyph XP, that kind of thing, you know? If they can show me and prove that to me, then okay, no problem. But if we ignore those factors, I think the lowest is like, what, 85 or... I can't remember if it was 75 or 85. Or maybe that was a tier 100 nightmare clear. But I think some people have done it early. This faceless shrine is interesting to say the least. Or maybe just it's just that no dungeon even seems long anymore because of uh, because of how badly I whoop everything that comes my way. Everything gets popped. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, 
Oh, this is the mother's judgment that everyone talks about. A lot of people find her troublesome, but as you can see, she's okay. She's a little wild, but she's okay. Just give her a good whacking and she's done. <laughs> Still no edge masters. Luck to you then. Heretics Asylum. Monster barrier and all the like. Okay, let's go. Let's go feel the taste. You know, those guys sitting over the cook pot always amuse me every single time. They're like, hmm, smells good. Don't stir too much though. But you imagine this, right? You're just sitting down at dinner. Okay, you're I know, sure, you're an evil you're an evil guy, you know, supporting the evil church, right? Well you're sitting down to dinner, right? You hear this guy, you just hear a door open somewhere, you know, you think nobody's gonna come into this dungeon, and then this one guy shows up, bone spears you in a second. You immediately, like, basically take, you know, um, an anti-tank sniper round to the chest. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then you die. And then that's your life, you know, that's your life gone. Like, if you think about it from the perspective of the poor dudes in this game, they get absolutely ripped by you, you know? It's like literally one second and then boom. Well, I hope you're back for good too. I was just talking about these dudes at the start of the dungeon that are like, hmm, don't stir too much. And then instantly get bone speared, like, you know, it's like uh, Randy Orton striking them out of nowhere. Congratulations, Square Madness. Sounds like you've had a very fun day. You need to suffer more though. Because, you know, such suffering is not enough. But anyway, you should take it easy. Take some painkillers, chill out, you'll be fine. Or suffer more, you know, whichever one works for you. Yep, exactly what I was thinking, you know? That's ex that's literally all I remember of all those Randy Orton matches. The Viper slithering his way in. Hey, hey, Mo! Welcome. Welcome. I'm indeed having a good day. I hope you have a good day too. Alright, come check out the digs. Well, I mean, nothing's really changed, but um, today we have basically attempted to improve stream quality a little bit. So let me know if everything is the same as it always is on your end. If it is, then that's good. Because now I'm basically streaming on a lower bandwidth. So that you guys have less, uh, 
basically on your end, it's it takes less data to download my stream and watch it. So that's good, and hopefully the quality should be just as good as it always is. So let me know if there are any issues, yeah? Other than that, welcome to the show. Yes. I'm very it's why I'm very excited about kick. Because uh, oh, if you haven't gotten me on kick yet, you can follow me there as well. Because tomorrow is the start of the uh, big kick documentary that I'm working on. So you can check that out. In fact, let me get you my kick just because you deserve it. Got a key. Got to get all my closest peeps there, you know. There you go. Yeah, you can just follow me there from the browser. It's really easy to do so. The mobile app is booty, but the stream quality on Kick is really good. And Tylenol is 100% gonna be your friend. I'll tell you that much. Oh crap, no wonder my nose is running. I was like, something is wrong. Why is my nose running? Am I getting sick? And I was like, no, 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 I, I can't. I just got, literally got the flu and just recovered. So I can't be getting sick. Ah, uh, I figured out what it is. I didn't have my heating on. It's a bit colder tonight, although winter is supposed to be coming to an end. It's like winter is giving it one last burst. It's like winter is trying to reach level 100 before um, before its season finishes. So, you know, I just realized that tonight is a colder night. And I was thinking, why is my nose going ham today? You know, it's not supposed to be doing that. Then the answer struck me. Wait, what? Did I hear something in the background? No, I didn't. Whew. I swear I thought I heard something in the background. I was creepy. Whack. Whack. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Roughly eight more years, man. Not too long, bro. Not too long. But yeah, Jesus, man. I, I have no idea who thought that this leveling system was a great idea. One hour and roughly 30 minutes. That's 90 minutes per level. That is insane, you know? Um, so it's even more than what we previously expected. And I'm going faster than I ever have. These creatures are 18 levels above me. It proves that the level offset is a serious problem. And this is just no good, you know? It's not supposed to be a grind because the grind is boring. Like, there is no faster method to leveling, okay? If they're non-nightmare, the problem is, don't forget that, you know the trailback mechanic? 
If I were to go in Donheim tunnels right now, right? The enemies would be deliberately made lower level than me. Which is no use. Because if the enemies are like lower level than me, they basically have no like relevance at all. I'd be, I'd be getting way worse XP even if it was technically faster. That's why the Donheim tunnels is only mostly used from level 1 to 50. Unless you get a Donheim tunnels um, that is like... You know, like a Nightmare Dungeon version, then that would absolutely be fine. But, you know, obviously I don't have that, so yeah. Yeah, the density wouldn't compensate because the enemies would be, I think, seven or eight levels below you. It's a huge, it's a huge offset, and I don't know why they did that. Like, it legit does not make sense to me, like, why they did the trail back mechanic. There was no point. You're not supposed, like... I think a lot of nerds complain that, oh, you know, I feel less powerful, but that's because they were using shit builds. Like, if if Di if instead they said, well, maybe you need a real build instead of catering to them, then, you know, Donheim Tunnels would be a fair way to, like, pump up because it would be okay to go in there and do that, but it's not okay right now because, yeah, the trailback mechanic just makes it absolutely dog shit XP. So, and besides, leveling in Donheim Tunnels alone would be pretty bad. It's okay in the early stages because you don't need that much XP. And even then, you know, the exponential XP requirement, I think, is what is really killing it. You know? So I wasn't for that. It should be fine. But it is. It is that. Okay. Charnel House. Tomb of the Saints. These are very fast and very doable. So off we go. Oh yeah, density absolutely wouldn't compensate, and that's the only problem, man. Let me go turn on the heating as well. If only it did, my friend. If only it did. If it did, I'd be very happy. Yeah, Mercy's Reach is also one of the good ones. If I, like, all all the good ones, like Whole Frost, Demise, whatever, there's a lot of them that are really good as Nightmare Dungeons. I choose whatever has, like, the decent density, but is short to run. So that's why I'm running all of these right now, because I know that these are very, very decent density-wise, and they're very short to run. Tomb of the Saints is pretty good, honestly. Because if I'm not wrong, once you get to that mid stage, it's just it's just a circular area, and the boss is right in the center. But I think that they really screwed the pooch on the whole, um, you know, um, leveling offset thing because constraining us to ten levels above our level is utterly worthless. Like we can, most good builds can easily handle, you know. 12, 14 levels above you. And sure, I didn't get to play much more than 3-4 hours a day, but even in a week of gameplay, I could not go... I could not go the full distance from 70 to 100. No, I ended up going from like... Well, technically speaking, from 80 to 100. No, I went from 80 to roughly 92, and I'm probably going to finish out today at 93, which is... A dick, you know, it's a dick. I just disagree with this. I feel that this is not the right thing, not the right way at all. It does disappoint me. Exceptionally. And that's why I'd hope that we would see, you know, something done about this, but it's no good. Balance is just totally out of order.
Actually, now that I think about it, maybe Tomb of the Saints is the wrong one. Is it Face the Shrine or the blind? I think it's the blind one. I'm trying to memorize all the best dungeons. Look at that. We're Lukey. there to my armor set oh. unique boots and grieves but bad penitent grieves with no max movement speed don't even kid me no thank you you're not worth it whoa whoa they are all over me What? My inventory is full. Hmm, I don't want to miss out on the loot, so I'm gonna just ditch some of these sacreds. I'm gonna take the ancestrals with me. Alright. Back to town. Sorry, random extra loot. Might be a loot goblin. I'm not that much of a goblin. Can't take you with me. I can't. I can't. T 
do 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 Let's remove all of this kraup. All of this sour kraup. We really need loot filters, we really do, because it is a pain in the ass to eyeball my loot each time. Oh hey, an upgrade, sweet. Come back soon. That looks worn, I can still use these. Oh, that's right. And in Greaves gone. Items repaired. Now, let me go. Uh... Oh, so sorry. I just realized my YouTube uh, died. Uh, my Overwatch streams? I haven't. I only played like eight minutes this morning to test them out, actually. I haven't actually done any real Overwatch streams. The only time I did it was on Saturday once, but it was pretty dog shit because a lot of people just don't tune in when it's not Diablo. So yeah, that's one of the one of the downsides, I guess, of this kind of thing, you know. But ah well. I mean that's just life. Enjoy your league. Enjoy your league. And since when was it a race, man? It's literally just us trying to get somewhere at all. And it sucks. I can't remember. Is it Faceless Shrine? No, Faceless Shrine's the other one. <laughs> ah, forget it. Whore Frost Demise will do. I don't think it's gonna be much of a race because it's literally at snail's fucking pace. It'd be nice if it wasn't, uh. It'd be nice if it wasn't like that. But I'm telling you, it's like that, so it's miserable. After League, I, I might still be on, actually, so. You can come join me because I think Kaz is gonna take today to rest. So I'm gonna try and get as many levels as I can. But yeah, man. Um, I would love to see more viewership on my Overwatch streams, but uh, I'll see when I can pull them. But tomorrow morning on kick, I'm actually going to play Diablo 4. Just to try and get this stupid shit done. Because I am just so saddened by it. I'm doing good, Gerardo. How's your lunch today? Are you feeling okay? I think I think like there's this there's this really weird team that created this leaderboard for Diablo 4 but I was like what was the point of that I don't know anyway yeah you know what let's go with what Rena says there's a race let's go with it <laughs> there's a friendly race where I literally call my competitor Rena to race with me just for the XP bonus 100% race. Okay, good. I'm glad you're feeling better, man. Listen, guys, guys, don't forget, okay? Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, I'll be streaming again. Okay, follow me on Kick. It's my new, it's my new place for my morning streams. It's gonna be fun, okay? We'll go there, and uh, I'll have some fun on Diablo Four.
Yes, I will be on kick. And then tomorrow evening, I'm gonna play Wayfinder on YouTube. I don't know, man. Do I mean, I guess. Sure, why not? Let's include everybody in this race. <laughs> this race of absolute misery. The race of the rising sun. Mama, tell your children not to do what I have done. Don't spend your life in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun. There is a house in the world they call the rising sun. It's been the ruin of many a poor boy But God, I know who I'm born. Dude, I will automatically concede that race Because I am not going to get a shotgun Except by maybe luck or whatever You know You never know, like some uber unique might throw itself out of, out of a chest Out of sheer pity for me It'd Be hilarious Speaking of which, I've got too many murmuring obols. You know what? Let's go gamble them all. Let's go gamble them all on hats. <laughs> they would, wouldn't they, Boog? Oh my god, maybe one day, maybe one day, next year, on kick, if if my kick ever, like, you know, gains traction, I'll go play, I'll play it there for one day just to insult the game. <laughs> We'll all we'll all come back for one day just to uh, just to uh, you know piss them all off. I think that'll be pretty cool. It seems your prayers have been answered. After buying all those, no chuckle, no chagohan, chagamania. Okay. That was absolute sin and misery. So, Boog, just tell your children not to do what I have done. Oh, spend your life in sin and misery in the game of the rising sun. Good deal. <laughs> Listen, listen, do you know that that game is planning a major update and overhaul next year? So next year, okay, 2024, mid-year, we'll all go play that for one day. 24 hours of that shitty game, just to piss them all off. And hopefully by that time I can draw in such a huge viewership that it will be more than what the game has on any other platform. Just for shits and giggles. what they missed out on by not showing love to the king they wish they wish also welcome back mo i hope you managed to follow me on kick without trouble i'll see you there tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna play some diablo live Either that or I'll end up playing Overwatch. I don't know. I'll decide. I'll decide tomorrow. I'll think about it in the morning. Yep. It'll either be Diablo or Overwatch. Either way, it's going to be a good show. I shall entertain you guys on my new platform with zero viewers. Well, except for those of you 
who already know me and turned up anyway. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Uh, I'm actually in a twisted way. I'm looking forward to becoming a zero viewer streamer again. You know, just talking, just talking endless shit on the ca at the camera. I might, I might do some Overwatch actually, because it might make for some funnier times. You know, show you guys my bronze level skills. Okay, get excited. I'm going to show you how the world's best bronze player plays. Okay, nobody can beat how bronze I am. Do we bother with ossified essence? I don't think we did. Then I do not need, because I already got a maxed out one. I got room for it, so I'm gonna just pick up one more. It shall be good content tomorrow. We shall be wilding. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Shit. That was rather unexpected. Did not mean to do that. Whoops. Uh, well, okay, whatever. What's done is done. That's a oopsie for me, but it is what it is. I meant to sell some of those and then work on a couple of others, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, let's see. I have not yet been to the ancient reservoir. Let's go. And also, I would like to check out Twisted Hollow, but I'm not playing Lightning Storm. Ancient reservoir. Let's go swim in it. Oh man, dude, my YouTube's dudes, my YouTube chat like freaking died again. It just decided to reject existence. It was like, nah, nah. But thank you for all the likes, guys, and all the shares. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Let's go. And did you know that I only just got the alert for Mr. Mo? Mr. Mo following me. Yay! I start my journey with 11 followers. A zero viewer streamer for the win tomorrow. Woo! I'm ready. Yeah, but like, I mean, the thing is, the preseason lasted like all of one month, so I can't believe it. But you know, people get desperate enough to pay for that. Then I think the guy must be literally just sitting on the Eternal Realm doing nothing else. He must be having fun over there. 
Just sitting there with a the shako being like, this is mine. This is mine. It's like, come on, man. I can't remember the amount. I, I don't look at stuff like that. Because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna like put myself through thinking about it. Oh, is that the butcher? Or is it just some random demon? Some of these random demons sound like the Ashton Kutcher, but they might not actually be. Uh, no, I cannot. Because uh, selling your account is actually a violation of TOS. You do it, you do it at your own risk. And since I'm a public figure, doing such a thing is just putting a risk on myself. So, and everybody would know about it. So, yeah, not wise, very unwise. So, yeah, out of principle, I would not be able to do it. Yeah, of course, I'd love 50 grand. It would really help my family right now. But, meh. This is a this is a job for me. So, you know, I have to unfortunately stick by the rules at all times. Yeah, account selling is pretty bad. Trading accounts, sharing accounts, things like this are usually all against uh, terms of service for games if you actually go and read that stuff. Players do it at their own risk because they can end up getting banned, they can end up you know, getting severe consequences. A lot of things are pretty illegal, you know, even if players do them, a lot of them is pretty illegal, so, yeah. I mean, those who buy Diablo Gold, that's also illegal. You're not supposed to be able to monetize and sell a digital good that doesn't even belong to you. You know, all of that falls under RMT. Yeah, they could both get banned, dude. But some people would take the risk. The final countdown to what? Oh, Sado logged in. Come on in, bro. I could use the XP boost. Do I not have an alt? What? Why would I have an alt? How's the leveling going? Bad. Slow AF, man. I hit level 92. It's about an hour and a half per level right now. But dude, I would never make an alt just to, just to get a party XP bonus, dude. That's just really sad. Nah. Because like with these types of games, right, with these types of MMOs, community is major, so I'd really like to play with my community. I'd really like to bring these types of games out for my community, you know? I know, but like, 
you know, no offense to anyone that does it, but I just feel that that's so sad. I would never have a second account just to do that. Like, no, no, no. I, I, like, these types of games, I should be able to survive on a community. It's just that, like I said, the community is a bit saddened by how this game has worked out. So, there's a lot less people than there were in the preseason. Oh, no worries at all. Level 60, um, level 60 Nightmare Dungeons, yeah. You should still be in World Tier 3, so you need to be killing at least 6 levels above you for max XP bonus. Just make sure you keep doing that. Basically, Nightmare Dungeons are the fastest way to level for you. Uh, Hell Tides are also pretty okay, so you can start building up your stock of potions. Um, but basically, you want to have a potion on at all times and just continuously spam Nightmare Dungeons. I don't know if I'll do either a leveling stream or you want to play some Overwatch with me, newbie? I don't know. I haven't decided what to do on kick tomorrow. I'll be on kick, but yeah, I mean, do you do you play Overwatch too, newbie? Because if you do, we could go for some of that. But otherwise, you know, it might be it might be interesting. Oh, no, no, don't, don't be sorry for mentioning. I just think it's sad, but I've got no nothing against people who do that trick. Like if have another account to sit in there for the bonus that's on them man like i just find it sad to do so because i want to build up a community you know so don't be sorry for mentioning it it's all good i take no offense i'm just like you know like i wouldn't do it but if somebody wanted to do it that's totally cool but yeah i'm now interested to know if newbie plays overwatch just because i think it'd be interesting you gotta have the assassin man on for blood <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Well, if you're gonna be on, then I might I might do some leveling on Diablo instead. I can always play Overwatch another time. There are many more days. I will not waste free XP, my dude. Believe me. Considering how this journey is going tomorrow morning, let's play. Let's play Diablo on kick. We'll see if your uh, assassin voice can... Uh, Bring me some additional views, you know? Maybe one of the days the Chungus Man can join us. Lol, 14 million damage. That's hilarious. Take it. Yeah, sure. I'll try and get on uh, at noon my time, spot on. So I'll try to make sure that that happens. Okay, back to town. I'd say it's just less painful if you got somebody leveling with you because otherwise my god the pain the pain p-e-i-n no not now now it's just you and me he's at work sado yasutora let's go do halls of the damned i've never actually measured it Let's go measure it. I want to see how good or bad it is. Yeah, man. Leveling alone is such a fucking pain. Like... I do not want to level alone. Leveling alone is a pain in my ass. I hate it because the journey's long. Listen, just set your alarm and then set your alarm tone to wake me up by Evanescence, okay? It's the best way to wake up. Wake me up inside, call my name and save me from myself. Get my blood to rise before I come undone. 
save me from the nothing I've become. You see, everything you do says that you are a, a true-born hunter. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I said, I like, Jesus Christ, who makes a statement like that? I, I, leave my, I leave my shades open so that the sunshine wakes me. <laughs> Love, Mal. This, this man, this man is like born to be a fucking hunter. That is creepy, Boog. Now, 1 to one to 50 alone is all good. Just go Donheim Tunnels. You can go 1 to 50 in 3 hours. Then you can literally skip levels 1 to 50. time I also need you guys so you guys can see the hearts for me because I can never see the hearts they just like don't exist in my vision You know, that's, that's the crazy thing though, it shouldn't be like that. <laughs> <coughs> People just lost interest in Diablo 4 so hard, and I feel so sad about that, because, you know, it felt like this was going to be the next big game to launch me, and then it had a dark tide. <laughs> so here I am being sad again. But there's also Wayfinder, so, you know, I'm going to go touch that. Tomorrow evening I'm going to go touch Wayfinder. And see how it feels. Touch Wayfinder. Hello, Mr. Pencil Check. How are you today, my friend? Good morning to you. Welcome to the stream. We have changed some stream settings to make things smoother for you guys. So just make sure that there's uh, no difference between my previous streams, Pen. As long as you experience no differences in your... in this stream compared to uh, the average stream that I do, then uh, the settings are all going alright. Yes, indeed. But how are you today, my friend? Other than that, I hope you are good. I am painfully slow crawling my way. Up, Up an Adam Adamant. Oh, hey. Got ourselves a cursed chest. Good. As long as there are no problems on your end. You know, that's all good. Oh. 
How R A R you? Oh god, that's a terrible joke. That is a terrible, terrible joke. The loot is unbelievable. My god, we're doing terrible, terrible damage. Oh my god, it's doing terrible, terrible damage out there. Woo! The loot. And we got a caged heart and all that. I'm already full, so. Back to town. Yeah, understandable, Daily Gamer, bruh. It is the pain. Also, don't forget to like the stream if y'all haven't already, okay? I would appreciate it tremendously if you could like and share the stream so that more nerds can discover me and bring me to life. <sighs> Another Mendel Ring. It's got a maxed out stat, but damn. Damn, its stats suck. Still, I'll put it in the stash just because the final stat is actually maxed out. That's pretty sick. Absolutely, you'll get thumbed. Being thumbed is a necessity in this day and age. Thou must be thumbed or get bummed. <laughs> it's time to go back inside. Anna is uh, Rena. So you can just uh, Anna is Rena, also known as Y King. So I use Y King and Rena interchangeably because I know who he is. But yes, he is that moderator. He is that moderator dude. Of course I do, Smokey. I've got him for every single class. Just search on the channel and you'll find them all. Welcome to the live show, my dude. I've covered Necromancer, Sorcerer, Druid is coming up. I'll cover Barbarian after that. We've got it all. We've got it all. XP for us is just instantaneous. That's okay, that's okay. Quickly, newbie. Forget him, forget him three times faster. Give him the ultimate thumb of suffering. Oh 
Well, welcome to the community, Smokey. Almost fumbled that. Ha! That's what I get for concentrating on my bone spears. Higher level nightmare dungeons are no joke. You actually need to concentrate a little bit. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm here to do. Because I understand that you guys don't want bullshit and unfortunately in the preseason a lot of people unfortunately got sold bullshit builds and that's why nobody's having a great time right now. Shame but you know bit by bit I'll correct the mistakes of uh, all those things. Hey there's an event here. So welcome, just hope you enjoy the shows. If you want to catch my morning streams, make sure to follow me on Kick. Alright. I get I'll give you my link after this uh, little event is over. But I was streaming two places. Basically YouTube every evening, which is around now, and Kick in the morning. In the morning, my time, I mean. There's my kick address. And how you can go there and follow my little baby account. I'm starting a documentary about streaming on that, so look forward to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Tis gonna be fun. Alright. Event done. Now we can just beat up the boss and move on. Sure. I always appreciate that. I'll be bringing a variety of games to both channels, not just Diablo. Of course, I'm mostly known for Diablo, and feel free to ask Diablo questions anytime. But yeah, I'm gonna bring a variety of content. Wayfinders, very soon. And by very soon, I mean tomorrow night I'm playing Wayfinders, because hell yeah. Oh, I got Path of the Blind, that's good. Path of the Blind is pretty good. Alright. Renna, why are you not in voice? I need to ask you if you got Surat's Lair. <laughs> My buddy and moderator, Rena, is accompanying me for leveling, so I can uh, level faster. No, that's okay, newbie. You should you should give him a hard time. Give him a give him a massively hard time. Make him suffer. Make him suffer. Well, only because you know, I rarely get a chance to make my friends suffer anymore. So. Got any good dungeons, bro? Please tell me that you have a good dungeon. That you have a good gungeon. Got any of them whole frost demise, Sarat's Leia? You can. Uh, can't you just name characters the same thing? Because, like, you can, can't you? I've named, like, all my characters, every single one Asian robot. Uh, if you're comparing to Diablo 3, my first piece of advice to you is ditch any memory of Diablo 3. Probably not going to help you here for sure. <laughs> so I can say that much. <clears throat> that is true. Well, it's okay. At least Diablo 4 is not difficult to pick up. There really isn't much to learn in Diablo 4. Oh shit, I'm in the trade chat. Oh, he has a Surat's Lair. Okay, I'll take that, yep. Yeah, I'll take your Surat's Lair. 
I just realized I wasn't in the party chat. Sounds good to me. And let's go to Sagat Slayer. Let's go. Let's go, team. And by team, I mean literally just me and this guy. Makes sense to me. Your kick also says newbie, so I shall be easily able to identify you. I'll be like, hey, there's that newbie guy. Okay, let's go, Silver Ghost. Playing on a controller is a bit tougher for some characters, uh, mainly the rogue, because the rogue has a combo system that I've, or rather a playstyle that players have commented to me is not very good with controller and some players have lost spirit because of that, so I would say test and see for yourself. Then again, my girl prefers the rogue to every other character and she plays on controller, so could just be a personal thing, but yeah. <laughs> That's one thing that I can certainly comment. Um, other than that, there's no real difference playing PC versus PS5 and stuff like that. You might need to understand a little bit more about stuff because on PC I can hover over certain icons and get information and things like that. So it might be a little bit different on PS5, but um, I would suggest try to get oh, kill me. trying to get as much in-game information as you possibly can. From your from your PS5, see what you can hover over, see what you cannot, and try to get explanations if you can't. If you cannot see something, that is probably the best thing that you can do, because I can understand. Because I I personally would not know the differences for controller, so that's the best that I could say. Oh, there we go. Newbies, newbie plays on controller apparently. But then again, when you hear his voice, dude's like a fucking assassin. So you know, maybe that contributes to like his overall gaming skill. Man, sounds like he's gonna like you know snap your neck instantaneously with some kind of jujitsu kung fu. And I'm saying that as an Asian guy. Oh yes, level 93. Oh, praise be. It only took me another hour and a fucking half. Like, for real, man? For real? Darn it. Every full level is taking about 90 minutes. That's pretty cray. This is with all the crazy bonuses that we get.
take that 11 mil to your face. Oof. That's what I'm talking about. How does it go, Shefty? Hmm. Pretty slow. I am immensely disappointed at the leveling in Diablo 4. Contrary to expectations, it got far worse after level 90. Basically, um... <laughs> it's been... On average, it's been 80 minutes per level. But, uh... In truth, even doing some of the fastest dungeons in the... You know, in the whole set... What has been happening is that it's been nearly 90 minutes per level right now, so... Honest to god, they really need to up the leveling pace. It's no good in its current state, and I'm not into that. Like, I can understand that they wanted people to play the game for longer, but this is not the way, because it's literally like, I've seen other games make this mistake. People are gonna put it down. Like, at this rate, legit, everybody's just gonna go play Path of Exile 2 instead when it comes out. Um, having played around with all of them, I would rate them as follows. I would say the, um, the Necromancer and the Sorcerer are currently the top two. Why? Both of them feature a very, very easy playstyle with, like, literally barely any concentration needed to, to do well. The Necromancer is basically pushing an I-Win button. The Sorcerer has so much CC, power, barriers, everything that uh, it's really easy to survive and play the Sorcerer as well. Um, so that is my honest comment about both. What I would also say is that the Druid is the next in line because the Druid build that I have is exceptionally good and I have thoroughly enjoyed myself playing that build. Um, it is genuinely a lot of fun. Barbarian is also pretty good, but Barbarians has some fundamental class issues that have not been solved yet. Rogue is strong and technically speaking on the same level as the Druid, but unfortunately the Rogue's range builds are very lacking unless you have a specific unique called Wind Force, through which you can make a very cheesy uh, pure imbuement build which is hilariously overpowered. But it requires that unique. You also need Eagle Horn to do the pen shot build, which is less efficient but uh, quite fun, as I've been told. So, those are all the factors to consider. Like, Rogue only gets a low rating. Oh, Donheim Tunnels. Lo Rogue only gets a low rating because I have specifically seen it do poorly in a variety of situations that other characters would have done better at or with, you know, less a lot less effort. So that is something to consider. As long as people still tune into my stream, Shefty, I'm happy. But I am looking for other things to stream as well. Because just pure Diablo is not going to cut it. I thought pure Diablo would cut it. Uh, and based on the results of the preseason... But as soon as Season 1 came in, uh, yeah, just playing pure Diablo is probably going to go really bad for me. Okay. Just take this, and I'm headed back. Time to go get rid of some old sigils. Thank you for subscribing, Void Spectre. If you're level 82, you should join the clan and come with us when you can. You could always use more peeps. Um, if you don't know, right, my morning streams are shifting over to Kick. So, if you'd like to, because it's part of my documentary series as well, you can follow me there. We'll be playing some more uh, Diablo 4 on Kick tomorrow morning. Mostly because newbies got the time to level with me and I'm like, okay, I'm down. Because I do not want to do the later levels alone. It is a pain. It is a P-E-I-N pain. The 
them sharp, keep them ready. Elden Ring? The PC port was fine. The PC port for Elden Ring was honestly fine. I played it when it first came out. It was totally good. So, might be a personal, personal taste thing. But yeah, as far as I can tell, the PC port was perfectly fine for Elden Ring. One of the smoothest ports ever. And I, you know, I think some sometimes people are really lucky that they can play stuff like Elden Ring and things like that. I can't because there would be like literally no value to me playing Elden Ring. So yeah, that's the only that's the only downside, I guess. Because unless I'm doing PvP constantly, there's no viewership for Elden Ring. Okay, let's go sort out sigils. Keep only the best ones. What are going to be my best sigils? Lightning Storm, Bargaroff, Volcanics, oh, Betrayer's Row, I'm not doing that. Domhain Tunnels, we can hit that for a Volcanic. Heretic's Asylum should be fine. Path of the Blind is okay. Garen's Hold is fine. Face of the Shrine, but with Death Pulse, no thank you. Charnel House, Comdor Temple. Oh, I got another Domhain Tunnels. Nice. Okay. Let's go hit the easier one. It'll still be enough XP for us. Easier Domhain Tunnels. Let's go. I need, I need healing. Lol, Y King. What is this? Since when do you play the sound effects, nerd? Nerd! I need healing. I'm sure you do. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? I need healing. That sounds terrible, Shefty. LOL yep. That's one that I haven't added to my server. You have it from another server, you nerd. Nice. That's pretty good. You need, nope. to, you need to send me that sound file so I can add it into my server. Okay, nice and easy adventure. We can speed clear Domhain. With that sweet, sweet dumb high next to you. Yep, it has. Tomorrow evening, I shall be playing it. I'm gonna get the cheapest pack though. Not gonna, not gonna buy into anything more expensive. Instead, I will probably let people sponsor stuff if they really, really like the content. But I'll see how it goes. It is by Digital Extreme, so I'm kind of excited for that. And the fact that it's gonna be free to play in future, it'll have a good crowd. And I can envision that good crowd. Like, I want it so bad for Exo Primal to be good, but there's just like zero interest around it. If you see Steam charts like at a thousand, no matter how good it is on Game Pass, that's a sure sign that nah uh uh. People ain't picking it up. Which is super sad. I hope that Exo Primal will do well though. I want it to do well. But it's clear to me that uh, the people aren't quite interested in killing dinosaurs. They don't seem to like that gambit mode. I do have one, but it is only for my top supporters, so I do apologize for that. I've gone off to the yeah to the left hand side, but then I found out this is the bot that this is like the middle section. I thought we were in Surats, and then I realized we weren't. So I'm coming back around. Ah, we are meeting in the center. So, but I do indeed have a Discord. I just don't uh, make it public because what happens is that when I had a public Discord, it ended up with a lot of people coming in and just being trolls, which is super pointless to me. Rather, if you want to stay in touch or contact with me, the best way is Twitter because I post constant updates on Twitter and every time before I'm live or anything, it's uh, there. And if you want to interact with me, you can at me anytime. I love having conversations on Twitter. Ask me questions if you feel like it. I love 
and like feel free to do it in public like i will answer you in public because you know the more the more that i get to tweet the better so feel free to follow me there if you really want to hit me up on social media honestly twitter gets a lot of shit but it's one of the best apps uh, around well i mean it's called x now but you know honestly it's a great app and the best part is that for content creators like me there's a potential to earn revenue just from interacting with our fans and you guys don't have to pay a thing so i'm really looking forward to that as well yeah twitter is the way guys trust me twitter like if i could just get like 10 people interacting with me on the day on the daily on like x or well, twitter x whatever you want to call it like i'd be i'd be made i would legit be made all i need is just 10 people talking at me and talking to me and bada bing bada boom i'm set i am freaking set you know that's the power of Twitter, and Elon Musk has really rolled out a great program for creators. You know, and by the way, if you guys just get 10 people interacting with you, you guys can make revenue off Twitter as well. Just thought you ought to know. Good. I look for. I will follow you back uh, after. Tweet at me anytime, man. I love conversations. I want to see my notifications blow up so much that, you know, I can't even respond to everybody. That's gonna be. That's gonna be the day, man. Kick streaming and Twitter are the two new areas I'm gonna push. Kick streaming for my new documentary about streaming, and then uh, Twitter, of course, because Elon Musk has made a very, very attractive program, and anyone can get in. You're not a content creator; doesn't matter. All you need are people to interact with you. That's it. Yeah, I know. Exo Primal had so much potential, Jerry. Like, I am saddened, honestly, that it went the way it did. Like, I thought, damn, this is going to be a great game for the offseason. Hot damn, you know, we're going to get some dino time. But, yeah, um, NG. It, a lot of games seem to have gone the way of Darktide. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just not a great time for independent ideas, you know, independent IPs. Too many established IPs or too many heavily marketed IPs are launching this year. Baldur's Gate, Remnant 2, all this took away attention from basically everything else. <laughs> so honest to god, bad time to launch for a lot of games. I feel sorry for them, you know? They have so much potential, so much power behind them. I mean, Gundam Evolution shut its doors already, which is super sad. Um, that was the Gundam Overwatch version of the game. Which was very interesting. I was looking forward to looking into it, but... <laughs> that went the way of the dodo. Ooh. Okay, I just got it. That absolutely went the way of the dodo, and... Uh, yeah, I'm hoping Wayfinder will, will take off well. Wayfinder is going to be free to play in future, so it's got a lot of potential from that perspective. And of course, Founders getting in early is really good. So I'm genuinely looking forward to it. Um, I'm just hoping they have a creator program or something for Wayfinder because I would love to be a partner, I would love to be a creator for those types of games, assuming it goes well, you know? I'll be keeping a very, very close eye on the numbers. And on stream interest, you know. Ah. Okay, great. Oh, that dumb hind tunnel XP. Mmm, mmm, feels good. Mm. Mariner's Refuge, Sarat Slayer, Dom Hine. Ooh, these are the best, the best. Or of a lot of ramparts, aww. Okay. Mariner's Refuge, I have a lot of them. Okay, great. You got any of them Dom Hind tunnels? Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see. I think. But if not, Mariner's Refuge, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Mariner's Refuge is always so good because we just go in a circle and then kill the hag in the center. Ah, oh, crap, I'm out of water. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick washroom break after I sell my stuff and then I will, uh, uh, Come back and we can run more. I got a Sarot Slayer, but it has Drifting Shade. 
If it's just two people, it should be okay. Three is a bit much, but two should be should be able to last. Theoretically. Okay. Theoretically. Which one? Which one first? Uh, which is easier, Mariners or Serats? Well, the Mariners one are really easy. Okay, we'll go with the Mariners then. Um, but first, let me quickly go to the washroom. I will BRB. Also, I'm dropping my kick link again. Alright, I am back. Uh, hit the Mariner's Refuge, but just give me one second as well after you do. I will accept it and then text Kaz. Oops. Mariner's Refuge. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, I see T Mac. Oh, those are some nice tattoos, man. Okay. I have followed back T Mac. Okay. Now back to leveling. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, no troubles. I should be there in the morning with uh, Newbie and Rena. Well, if Rena wakes up in the morning. Uh, I'll be there. <laughs> if we have a spot open, I will bring you along for power leveling in the morning. Oh lord, I tell you, this leveling grind is crazy. That's why we do the stuff like Mariner's Refuge, Surat's Lair, <laughs> all the <laughs> short dungeons with lots of enemies. Anything to soothe the grind. I've never tried Halls of the Damned actually. Maybe one day, when there's no other choice. I just can't remember what it was like. Is it's it? The one that's on the oh, so that's Halls the Damned. Yeah. I thought it was Charnel House, that one. Oh, Charnel House is the other one. The less popular ones I can never remember. 
I'm actually looking forward to seeing how many people actually bother, like, how many people actually get a kick notification tomorrow on the app, because the app is so booty for kick. Like, the stream quality is great, but the app is doo-doo. So people mostly, like, use their browser and stuff, or they have to hope for a social media alert, but, like, a kick is wild. Hey, I actually got a point. Sweet. <laughs> no, they plan to, but the main reason I'm even going to kick is number one, they have cited that um, there could be a creator incentive program whereby we would actually be paid an hourly wage for streaming there. In which case, I'd probably move my whole streaming division over um, if that was the case. But on the flip side, the other thing about kick is that they do pay out their streamers quite well so if anyone subs on kick they they only take a five percent cut therefore a lot of the money remains with the creators um and it's far better after tax especially when you consider um how much people you know get consumed by tax get consumed by twitch's cut things like that youtube was already winning in that regard youtube was doing far better in my opinion um as compared to kick but now, with kick in the market as well, that's another angle. Now, of course, for YouTube, we get ad revenue, so I don't mind. I understand, you know, um, why YouTube might take an additional cut, because ad revenue is freely added onto all of our streams. But the ad revenue is relatively small compared to an hourly wage by, by kick. And honestly, I wouldn't be losing too much revenue because I make a lot for my videos and shorts as well. Um, so yeah, I, it would be very interesting to see how all of that comes together. So I decided to actually start a whole documentary series about, you know, starting basically from the bottom, um, without using any of the streamer networking things, all that kind of stuff. Like, can I grow organically on kick? Of course, I will have some growth coming from the people that already know me on YouTube. Oh, I'm just going to check up here, by the way, bro. Just going to see if there's anything here. I will have some growth coming from that, but at the same time... Like, it's not really that many. It's only a few people, like a handful of people that are deeply interested in my content, you know? But I do expect their app to improve, and I'm very keen on seeing how it develops, you know? If it fails after a year, like everyone's predicting, then that's fine, you know? It's it's a risk worth taking right now just because of, you know, how high the reward is, potentially. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I can, but the reason I would not do that is also because um, it can create it can create a very distracting environment because I'd be keeping up with two chats and responding to two chats at the same time with um, people on one chat getting confused because they wouldn't be able to see the interaction on the other chat if they were to uh, find me on the YouTube platform, you see? So I tend to avoid... Uh, double streaming because of that reason. I feel it lowers interaction quality. Like, although I'd have to separate, like, my kick streams and my YouTube streams, I'd rather, when streaming, focus on interacting with the people that are there so that I can genuinely have good conversations with them, you know? Because otherwise, they're just gonna feel like they're out of the loop, and I, and I don't really want to do that. Like, to be fair, although it sounds weird, restreaming is actually far better when you're at a huge... Um, streaming size and then people can't really tell because then you won't be responding to every single chat message uh, and at that point being on two platforms is okay but yeah I, I would like to try and focus on the conversations I can have with you guys which is why when I'm on kick I'll be on kick purely when I'm on YouTube I'll be on YouTube purely for now I'm only moving the morning streams there I'm not moving the night streams night streams will stay on YouTube um, so I can keep interacting with the crowd that I build up here and also because, you know, ad revenue is still a thing and we don't have that on Kick. The upside though is that Kick has no advertisements, as far as I know. So because of that, they don't have to give us a cut and you guys get to just watch pure streaming. 
it's a great it's a it's a good place and their stream quality is very high life is definitely not without risk and reward you know and that's what makes it fun sometimes you just got to take that risk oh hey another unique ring it'll either be mendel's or mother's embrace now which is it i got howl from below and another mendel ring nice Oh, oh, hey, wow, this one's actually a really good one. I'm gonna replace one of the other shitty Mendel rings that I have. That was actually a decent Mendel ring. Who would have thought? Hey, Kevin, I'm doing good. Are you Kevin Pikachu on kick? Because <laughs> I saw you follow me there as well. <laughs> That's okay, Chungus man. We're all good. Oh, Rena take a town trip. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I shall head back there as well. Nice, nice. That's a nice name, Kevin Pikachu. I was like, this has to be Kevin Pika. So yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's morning stream, I'll be there. I will be there. Back in. Yeah, no worries, Jerry. Appreciate you doing that. Keep in mind, though, that you guys who are already YouTube members do not have to subscribe on Kick or anything like that. I don't even have subscriptions open anyway. Um, it'll just be... If you guys do turn up for any of the streams, it's going to be a pure streaming experience. I'm going to enjoy my time going back to the whole zero views and whatnot. Um, I'm actually viewing it as uh, quite a fun experience because... You know, sometimes when you've been streaming for so long, you're used to a certain kind of vibe. It'll, it's in a twisted way gonna be very fun for me to go back to that underdog vibe. <laughs> if what was open. Oh, oh, the subscriptions. Yeah, I bet you would, man. But there's, like, no need to do so at the moment. Because they won't even be open until I get, like, what, 75 followers? So part of the documentary's purpose is to see how long organic growth takes. Like, how long is it going to get me? How long is it going to take me to get to that first 75? Um, what are the struggles, difficulties? Can you do it just streaming three hours a day? So, like, if you have a job, like, you know... It's from that perspective, and I'm really interested to see how it goes and uh, how everything's going to come together. I think it's going to be a really interesting documentary series. Hey, Lady Neo. What's up, my friend? So, yeah, let's uh, let's see how, how long it actually takes me to get to that 75 followers, you know? I'm not going to be networking with any streamers. I am legitimately just going to be in there um, testing... The absolute limits of how far that whole thing can take me you know that's it like it's gonna be a pure test and I'm genuinely from that perspective looking forward to it sacrilegious is what is the sacrilegious heart is that the one with the decrypify aura because no I don't I don't find it annoying at all like what the other necro uses doesn't bother me because if I'm playing in the party with the other necro as long as they Dish out max damage, that's all I ask for. Hey, very good job, Lady Neo. Well done, well done. I guess the Donheim Sacri tunnels have been working for you. Oh, sorry, Renna. As I said, Sakura just holds the one that we're using where the corpse automatically pops. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, no, I still don't find it annoying because it doesn't bother me at all. Like, I, I want the corpses to detonate faster so we both get our bonuses, more essence, and we can kill faster. That's all I care about. We must... We must go faster, you know, faster and faster. Go fast. 
Yep, I've got a level 61 Dom Hind Tunnels. I'm checking it out now. Volcanic Dodge Breakers, let's go. Uh, no. Dom Hind Tunnels. Yeah, yeah. So, um, sorry, I, I had it wrong in my mind, but yes, Shefty. I don't find it annoying at all. I, I think it's okay. Because, <laughs> especially toward the late game stages, you want, there are so many corpses everywhere, you want them all to detonate. It's better, it's be the more they detonate, the better, because that's just more damage that's being put out. And you need everything dead ASAP. Faster you make everything dead, the better. Yep, understandable. Understandable. I mean, considering how fast that tunnel is, just go to 50 and then you can do the capstone at 50. There's no worries on that. You're not going to miss out on anything much. Oh shit, you weren't in yet. Sorry, sorry. Backing up. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I only killed like one mini section. Because the first prisoner is like really close. Honest to God, it seems like work's been busy for everyone these days, Lady Neo. Shh. Must be the season. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I finished, yeah. Uh, a little bit is okay. Mom was just asking me if I needed hot water. Let's get the prisoners all around this area. <laughs> Excuse me. As long as you didn't actually die, you're fine. Okay. This guy down here. Thanks, Ma. Okay. Had to get that little bit of loot. No worries, Lady Neo. You go ahead and hop off. Do your best. Do your best. Yep, I should be on in the morning, but I'll be on kick. So you can check me out there. I'll be trying it out. Wait, hold on. Do we have like a nodal? Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> so I was checking the map before we went in. Welcome back, Daily Gamer Bros. Nothing wrong with taking a breather. There are no breathers here because I want my XP. I need it. All right, we wiped them out. Hmm? Oh, I hit no too. Nice. Almost got murked again by volcanic.
Ooh, cage chart. Bye, Lady Neo. Bye bye. No problem. Enjoy your lunch. I probably got about an hour. Yeah, slightly under an hour before I sign off. I'm just pushing a little bit extra tonight. But I won't be pushing too much longer. Plus my throat might get a little too exhausted. Yeah, actually maybe I might do, just do a couple more dungeons and log off there. stone is with me okay there is a section there you should check out blind spot <laughs> yeah make sure that we haven't missed XP the thirst for the XP is real okay that's <laughs> done I'm gonna run away from your aura. Don't you dare aura me. Run away from me. There we are. Year 61 popped instantly. Oh, I got Serat Slayer. Sick. Back to town. yours did you just get a level 60 Surat Slayer mm, no I think I did oh so that's the old one okay I got a level 61 Surat Slayer with uh, death pulse should be fine for us should I have shifting city oh shifting city is good too what do we got on that one armor breakers <laughs> Ah, yes, totally the best modifier, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's not get ourselves yeah, killed. <laughs> oh, God. Suppressors are just, like, unbelievably talk shit for us. It only affects the Bone Spear Necro. Well, I guess in the Blood Lance Necro, but... Yeah, they, had to, they had to have us, like, nerfed in some way. Otherwise, it would be way too unfair.
Okay, let me go dump these hearts. Alright, okay. Wait, sorry, I forgot. N did you have anything good, or...? It's still just the Sarots, the auto Mariners. Okay, Mariners has oh, what? Only on Not that too magic. dangerous. Okay, then let's hit Mariners. And hit Sarats so, after. It's, it's tier 52 though, so it's pretty low. Oh, fuck tier 52. Yeah, which is the, uh... Which is the Sarats then? 56. Okay, that's good enough. We'll hit the Sarats first then. That's only 56. Like, 52 is a bit too low-key for us. You know, you gotta get that chance of getting that Shaco, you know? Then you can sell your account for a huge profit. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> There's a death elixir? That's crazy. Hey, listen, as long as you guys enjoy watching the grind to 100 Chungus, I'm happy with that, man. Gotta entertain my main man Zing, you know? But yeah, I didn't know that because I never play hardcore. I just don't have the time for it. And I take way too many risks, so I know I would, like, get myself killed 24-7. The amount of times that we've already died is like for dick. Two is manageable, especially on such a low tier dungeon. Three drifting shades, that gets wild. Because there's some corridors I remember where it's like it, the drifting shade like fills up the whole corridor. If people are spread out enough, it becomes really bad. <laughs> Instead of stun locked, you just get days locked. Oh, come on, really? Get away from me. Almost to a max life boost. No problem, no problem. You don't have to worry too much about falling behind, newbie, because to be fair, there's not much difference in levels. We'll just take you along anyway, regardless, you know? Technically speaking, anybody above level 80, as long as you're in the clan, you should just come along, man. Come along and have some fun. Bros. Just join the clan, come along, have some fun. In the sun. Why? Because the journey is so long. The more of you we have anyway, the easier it'll be. I mean, you can use your level 20 barb if you want. You will power level you, just, just don't die. <laughs> That's all. And you'll have to figure out a way to <laughs> clear the capstone with your level 20 barb. Other than that, go nuts. Go nuts. <clears throat> oh, there's a pathway up here. Check it.
What's up here? Stairway to heaven. Oh, I could. If you really, really wanted to. Thank you for the gifted sub, man. Appreciate it. It went to somebody called. It went to somebody called Illusionati. Yay! My Wayfinder, my Wayfinder starter pack is a little bit more funded now. Yay! Thankfully, it's only like 20 bucks, so funding it is cheap. Tomorrow evening, we test it out. <laughs> hmm. I didn't realize this was an event. I was wondering why everyone was spawning and trying to kill me. The sheer amount of poison on these things that I cannot say on stream. Whole Frost Demise, hell yeah. Check it out later. I pray it doesn't have those weird modifiers. Technically speaking, your capstone dungeon would be done if like... <laughs> if me and Rena did it for you, it'd be done in like... Seconds. Just like roll through, boom. <laughs> But, technically speaking, you just wouldn't gain very much. Because Donheim tunnels would actually be faster than getting carried. You just, you just find it. <laughs> now, I can't tell. Did you actually put a Surat's layer up in chat? Or is that just the game alerting me to the old message? No. Not quite. Old. <laughs> I didn't realize it was in the chat. Lol. So that is you that put it up. Let's see. Hey, it's a pretty easy one. 60. Nightmare portal. Doable, doable. Easy oh, clear. Awesome. Awesome. Just <laughs> what is Collapse Vault? I've never seen that. Stockades I hate, but hmm, Collapse Vault. Interesting. Lol. Yeah, now you now like technically that's because the PvP zones have some of the highest monster density. So technically speaking, if you wanted to power level in the past, you could just go PvP. And just go like power level there in World Tier 1. Then you'll see everybody else there power leveling. Which admittedly is hilarious. But now the fastest is uh, Donheim Tunnels. Oh, your level 85 Necro died in Hardcore? Sad. Yeah, I could never do that. All the work and effort to get to level 85 and if it died, I'll just be like, no. Nah. 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 Get rid of all this. Any edge masters? No edge masters. Why? I know it's a general legendary, but they really never drop anymore.
Lol, makes sense. Makes sense to me. Highly anticipated for sure. <laughs> Excuse me. Dude, they gave me a sigil that was like level 32. Are you trying to tell me something here? You're trying to say I'm not good enough? Path of the Blind, but it's Stormbanes. Mm. Anyway, you got the good Surat's Lair, so I'll leave it to you. And it's I'm not. Pretty e sure that's, that's yeah? an old one. Oh, sad. Sad. Yeah. What else you got? Nothing good. If not, I'll just hit Horror Frost device. Oh. Oh, this is all more brief than normal. <laughs> okay. Or Frost Demise it is. Click. It's only a 57, but should be good enough. Off we go. I'm gonna quickly scrap the sigil. Yeah, no worries. Yep, take your time, newbie. <clears throat> I'm probably just gonna run to about two more dungeons and call it a night, so if I'm not back when you're back, thank you so much for the gifted sub, man. Have a heart. Oh wait, this is the wrong one though. You know, now I've got this question on my mind. I wonder, can you do Uber Lilith more than once? Oh, she only drops loot on her first fight, but you can fight her more than once. Interesting. <laughs> My first attempt can be on stream. After that, I'll just show people how to do it, and then... Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, this is the way down. Hold on, wait. <clears throat> I gotta climb back up. If I recall, there's a few of these corpses here. Still worth XP. It takes two seconds to shoot him. I love how that jutting stalag whatever got in my way. I never remember if it's a stalactite or a stalagmite. wands dropped for me. One was an oak wand, one was uh, a comma, like a comma scythe, and then the way it dropped, like, literally let, made me read Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was like, lol. That's how tired my eyes are getting after all this sun. Spent all morning looking at overlays and stream quality, and now doing this, I'm like, mm. Yeah. I saw Shifting Cities, I was happy, and then it's the person's. Oh my gosh, Boog, you're right. Stalactite, ceiling. <laughs> Stalagmite is brown. Lol. Yeah. 
actually useful knowledge. If I'm ever in a cave of wonder. Honest to God, right? Can't imagine doing the leveling journey without anybody because I just, you just go insane. Must have human beings or else death, death comes. Is this like 90 to 100 as chill as it is, it's also like mind numbing. Let that do this over again Don't make me change my mind Cause I won't live to see another day I swear it's true It's a girl like you is impossible to find Impossible to find This is not what I intended yeah, I will swear to you, I never fall. Hang on, one second. There we go. It happens. Like, those poison bombs will sometimes just get you. You always thought that I was stronger. I may have failed, but I have loved you from the start. There's a small part down there. Yeah, there's a small part down there that we should check it. Might be an event. <clears throat> Have some cheap souls to murder. <clears throat> Let's go then. Boost room. Stop not all this. Two-ended side, unique. But not a shako. Where's my shako? Okay, back to them. <clears throat> Where is my shako? I deserve it. I demand it. Anyway, nowhere near max roll on that bloodless scream, so I'm ditching it. Hope it tools of vengeance, eh? Free source generation. Who would need such a thing? Mumbai. Yeah, because you you literally like go for the spam instead. You go for the spam instead of the ham. I go for max ham. If you don't have anything better, right, I good. will uh, jam sprouts. Oh, sick. Okay. Right, it does have uh, stone brains, though, so not typical. That's fine. There is a stone. Stone brains is not a problem. Donheim is worth it. Let's go. I'm gonna reroll this. I'm gonna reroll this. That was a mistake. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'll hang out outside the tunnel until you're ready to come in because it's Storm Banes. It'll start chasing me. <laughs> so I'll just hang yeah, out at the yeah. entrance. <laughs> Some random skelly mans around here. How dare they touch me. Yeah, the trail back in the open world is six levels. That's pretty high. No, five levels right now. Still pretty high then. At level 93, enemies are level 98. Like, how do they expect people to hang around in the open world and get levels or even like, get anything good? Because most of the good drops are only 85 plus. 
failure. Absolute failure. <coughs> No, oh my god. I miss quotes. <laughs> that does happen once in a while, my condolences. Oh, that's actually kind of toting. There's no amount of materials to be off. Yep. <sighs> I finally managed to fix it and now. Misclick. I misclicked and then re rolled the stat that I just managed to fix. There, there, my bro. There, there. It does happen once in a while. Makes me want to trash this boot out of reach. <laughs> there will be another time, another chance. Also, our swords are different colors, so it looks like player one, player two kind of shit. Yeah. Huh. Two separate skins. Mariner's Refuge just dropped, right? Just continue. Okay, that way is uh, <clears throat> seal and we'll keep the goats. <laughs> Back around then. And max life, yes, finally cross 10k. Uh, The tier sixty three, easy. Like it's really so sad that we're not even like getting um, extra rewards for just smashing stuff. Huh. Oh, I want to click on the halt so I didn't. That's okay. I got you. I insta give the hard dude. Oh, so good.
Lots of bombs. It's up there, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> okay, let's roll. There's the adventure. Yes, could you manage a little faster? Jesus Christ. Speech takes longer than it takes us to clear the whole damn dungeon. Alright, let's get out of here. There's something down here? Uh, shouldn't be. It's a few mobs. Okay. picked up some crappy gems out they go I'm wait for you by the door this a bit of loot hmm I'm sadly full on everything Ooh, I armor breaker Oh, I got a good Marinus Refuge, actually. <clears throat> 20 mil. Oh, I'm full. Yep, so am I. Time has come and so have I. What's the crappiest thing that I have in here? A 
Suppressor, okay. I'd rather take this collapse vault. Never know what it might be good for. Oh yeah. Okay, it is 2.20. I think it is time to call this leveling a night for me. Ladies and gents, thank you very much. <laughs> it has been an absolute pleasure uh, seeing many of you join me today. I am gonna go take a rest, and tomorrow, we shall rock and roll some more in, ooh, actually, wait, let me get rid of this. Tomorrow, we shall rock and roll on Kick in the Morning, and of course, on YouTube in the evening, I will be trying out, um, I will be trying out Wayfinder, so I'll be picking it up tomorrow afternoon. Please do look forward to it. I hope you guys will enjoy it. I am personally looking forward to the experience myself. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you guys have not followed me on Kick yet, well, I'm sure most of you have already, but anyway, here's my link again. If you want to, you can go there and follow me tomorrow. My morning streams will be there from now on. My documentary about it will be on my sub channel uh, at Today I Stayed Inside. Basically, the channel is called Today I Stayed Inside and Played Video Games. Look forward to it. All right. Any updates you need will be in both my community posts and on my Twitter. All right, see you guys tomorrow, and we shall have some more fun. Bye-bye.